Two of the titans of North America here, the defending world champs going up against the defending North American champs. I'm Wei Funk, joined by Achieves and Corelli. And uh, uh, Leaf did say that we oftentimes curse NRG by fully casting them on the desk. But I will remind him that before season eight on the day of Sunday championships, the entire desk predicted NRG and they did actually win. So the curse may be broken. We'll find out here in a second. I don't know. What do you? How do you feel, Chiefs? Uh, I think uh, that there's good reason to pick NRG, but at the same time during the major, I mean, it went all seven games and the only reason it wasn't a little closer is because Dries kind of collapsed at the end there. I think the pressure kind of got to him, but I think he's had his time to settle down here and you should be wary if you're an NRG fan. Uh, even going back to that series, I mean, it, that last game couldn't have been any closer. It was a no. 10 and a half minute overtime. Uh, so for G2, they know what they're walking into here, and I, I don't blame anyone going with NRG. G2, though, I think have the benefit of maybe getting warmed up early oh. on here in the week. Drees getting this first goal away, and they're up by one. They have the benefit of getting warmed up, and they also have the benefit of Drees being hot this week. This team has been so strong. It's not just been like they, they haven't just eked past phase and row. They have controlled the matches and won handily. And, and that's the big concern. Uh, what, like Gibbs said, you know, you had to get by basically one player in the previous two teams in FaZe and in uh, Rogue, but NRG is the full package. And a lot of play styles go to die against NRG. They're very tough to get out of their own zone. And for G2, if they want to continue to play that style, they're going to have to pick it up. NRG, they're a team that will always take advantage when you mess up or just slightly behind the ball. Now G2 does have a... Uh some good things going for them. Their challenge game has been phenomenal over these past couple of days, and they really don't let too many people out. Oh. Their only problem like that is a great couple of shots from NRG, but well defended is NRG's general ability to, to find each other on their hey. way out, or at least find the deep clear down the other way to get themselves space again. The ener energy does have a general ability to do a lot of things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> They're squishy. Oh, through the sky. Jane and Drees both bite on it. Chicago will follow this one out. He's been given some space by Justin, and he'll dodge the midfield demolition from Squishy, who retreats back onto his own half. Now Squishy and Garrett on the far side here. It's the backboard. No one's home. Can he double tap? It's going to try. Wow. It's covered up in the secondary shooting lane, and Chicago and Drees will clear. Yeah, here he comes again. That was a great block oh. by Drees. He wants it all the way. Tried to get Justin. Couldn't get to him in Chicago. Just trying to buy some time. Jay Naps. To see how this one turns out. And right now, very even in this first two minutes. Obviously, G2 up by one, but even after this first goal, uh, NRG have had some good advances onto the G2 side. Here's another one now. Ooh. G2, Chicago. Can he dribble it past Justin? Oh. Huge save on the goal line. G2 still threatening here as JNAPS trying to just carry this one across, but he gets no help. Drees put on the backboard. Now, Chicago clears it. The energy's half, conceding ball control, and now a setup for Garrett. Drees will put it into the corner and squishy. We'll look to get the ball to Justin in the midfield. Here's the pass, Justin to close on it, but Jnaps gets there. And Drees will pick up control up against Garrett G. 50 into the corner, and Garrett G follows his own touch off the ceiling. Reset to the backboard. Chicago's out to challenge him, and he won't have the boost to dunk. Justin will come in for support. Energy holding on to ball control here for a bit, but still no goals to show for it here in game one. It's nice clear, though, from G2 right there. They, Like you said, they were kind of getting pressed. Chicago with low boost, so able to work their way from their own half, find a little gap to get that nice clear and force NRG to come back from the other side, and they might have something here again as you might see G2 start to get a little starved, but in that challenge game, playing so well. Oh, G2, oh. nice fake from Kara G, and off the wall, second chance for Squishy, and I don't know if they're going to be able to turn oh. this one in. It's off the bar again. Man, Garrett G, not only did he fake, but he successfully got a flip reset during the fake. Like that, he, you, it, it's, it's so difficult to fake and also touch the ball at the same time. That was brilliant control, but again, still not able to turn it in to the net. 130 left to go here in game number one. Energy scoreless. G2 hanging on. That's now 10 saves for G2. There's 13 shots coming out from NRG here. Maybe a 14th. Squishy can get around now. Justin, he'll drop it down, but a lot of pressure on the back half of this first game from NRG. Oh, a pass to Garrett G. He's got a lot of space here in an open net. He'll find the top bar. Huh. Tie game, 107 left to go.
rough stuff here for G2. Like you said, Curly, they're playing such great defense, but finally they get what they think is a good clear and they're all like, all right, let's go grab some boost. And then there's nobody out in the middle to contest this beautiful pass to Garrett G. Well-placed ball as well into the top of the net. Well-deserved equalizer. And Jay Naps, he was rotating back. He wanted to get that corner, never spawned. He had zero boost. He picked up one pad as he entered the box. Just no way for him to get back to it in time. G2 expecting that clear that never came, and NRG finally get one. I think a well-earned goal with the amount of pressure they've had. About 15 shots they've gotten so far here. Squishy to try and put on another one. Jay Naps. Goes away, and Garrett G. This one on target gets two defenders to bite on it. Justin's up for JMs has to block this perfectly. Justin went for the dunk on J Naps' touch, but he was able to push it to his own backboard and away from the inbound shooter. 30 seconds left. Squishy to take control. Drees gets it off of his hood in Chicago now. Up against Garrett G. It's over the top of one, but Justin out of the backfield will pick up control, put it to the wall, and pass to himself. It's a demolition on Chicago on the backboard. Oh. Follow-up shot from Garrett G is good, and NRG leading late in game one. What a rocket from Garrett here. And Chicago's touch just not good enough. The Drees had to back yeah. off. He was turning away, got caught kind of in no man's land and wonderfully uh, hit by Garrett. 70 miles an hour on the far side there. Well done from NRG to start converting now on this pressure. So many shots, 18 to be exact from NRG. Two goals to show for it, but they're in the lead. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, the pass from Drees to Chicago was on the money. But the shot, not there. Six seconds left. G2. Got to find control and keep the ball in the air. I've got it in the air. Chicago's up for this one. He's got enough boost to put it on the backboard. Oh, but Justin and Garrett G will get that one back to midfield. Here comes the second round. Drees put it on Ooh. target. Justin gets it away. <laughs> what a stop. What a final drive from G2. But NRG take game one. Uh, good try, G2. And that's actually got to be a pretty frustrating loss, actually. They held that lead for a while, but... After that halfway point, NRG just really didn't let them out of their own half. G2 able to find those nice long clears that I was thinking were going to be okay. And that challenge game just never really came back into their favor like it did at the start. So overall pressure favoring NRG uh, towards the end of the game and Garrett G with two beautiful shots. I mean, his placement was impeccable and that's a, a big reason that they ended up winning as well. One of the biggest uh, difference makers, I think, here in this game was early on, I think you saw G2, uh, I think, etching out NRG in the pressure department. But G2 were very, very conservative in how many players they sent into the box, especially on the attack when NRG's first defender would make contact. NRG were a lot more liberal with how they attacked G2. And I think that's why we saw so much pressure. It was really just G2 getting the ball out and no one there to help them out. And then NRG had multiple players crashing the ball inside the box that made it tough for G2 to break away. Did see some good things on transition though for G2. I mean, whenever they did force NRG back, at least early on in that game, I should say, uh, very effective at getting those soft little touches out in the, to the middle of the pitch to a teammate with space to operate. So transition game is like this one is a perfect pass to Drees. And while the shot's coming from way too far away, that's the idea that G2 executes so well on. Squishy, challenging Drees above the box here in the beginning of the game too. We'll see G2 start off with control. We're gonna boost grab in the corner. Garrett G will try to dunk or pinch the ball with Chicago into G2 territory, but it won't work out. And ball comes back around G2, keeping the pressure on. Finally, we'll see NRG cross the midfield line. Drees with the midfield flick, squishy up to stop things in the midfield and give Garrett G time to get set up in net. The time will be well spent. First minute here. Coming and going with both teams going back and forth. Justin will hold on to this ball in the air. Get it off to the outside here. G2, good initial start. There you go. Very little pressure in the box. Here's Chicago with a nice slow one just to the outside. And Garrett G plays it to his own corner to try and follow this one through. Wins an important challenge against yeah. Drees. Huge challenge from Garrett. And that's what I'm talking about there from G2. They actually had players. And now they have another chance here. Chicago, they're both going after oh. Justin having to dodge two G2 players. Oh. He does get away with it. G2 being a lot more aggressive though here on the NRG side and just not paying off quite yet. The touches getting a little squirrely and getting away from them, but it's better pressure from G2. Yeah, they were playing that kind of keep away game though. They didn't have a lot of boost to really try and stick it as another pass out into the middle and good stop from Justin, but that's everybody out of the box. Garrett G has to make another nice touch here. And indeed, how about just right down the sprinkler line and force G2 back. Well, we saw NRG feeling feeling the pressure of G2's push there. They had G2 double committing 
onto that shot into the box. You had two G2 players, one in the goal, one on the backboard. That's about as NRG advantageous oh, of a situation as you can possibly imagine as Justin tries to drop in a bomb. But NRG in that moment, efficient touches, you don't even need boost. Efficient touches gives you a free goal. You have a 3v1 with the entire field to work with. And instead they ping it off the wall to say, hey, get this ball away. We don't know where the third player is coming in. The pressure working for G2, even if it hasn't gotten them a goal. Oh, Squishy almost getting a second mm. touch there. That one came free off the back wall. I'm not sure what happened between Dries and Chicago, but now a lot of space for Chicago to dribble. Could JNAPS get a second one? Looking for oh. the follow-up. Dries is hey. there, slots it left side, and G2 take the lead. Kind of just a little awkward there for NRG as they rotate back onto the defense. You kind of see Gary G's not really in Ooh. position and Squishy trying to defend the large part of the net, right? Because he knows that right side or the middle is probably going to be open, so he gets caught heading towards the middle of the net to give himself more room to try and make the save to the far side and just gets it put right behind him. Yeah, no, Squishy, Squishy gives him, he, he makes it, he makes an opening, he knows it, but because he knows if he stays on that post, he can't cover the majority of the net. So he's like, I'm gonna give him the small window and Dries hit the window like that. Ah, yeah. amazing accuracy there from the rookie. No, I'm glad you said that because it really is the bread and butter for G2. Chicago and J Nap, some sort of combination play in the midfield and then Dries to clean up. That's exactly what G2 shooting for. And it's well done to get themselves another lead here. Oh, bombs in the midfield. Just over the top of J Nap. Chicago alone in his half. He's having to fall back, picks up his corner boost. And tries to defend. Oh dear, this one bouncing for NRG, but Dries comes Ooh. in off the wall with a clear to save his whole team. 135 left to go, and G2's holding on to the lead for now. You can see how far forward Squishy was on that push from NRG as well with that surprise clear from G2. He had no other choice but to let that come all the way back to his own half to buy time, and it means NRG has to go fight for possession again. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh and he won't no. miss. Garrett G tying it up on a fluke of a bounce from G2. <laughs> Do we even have to talk about this? Oh, I mean, what can you say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Jane> Apps, bro. <laughs> Unlucky. Uh, kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> the first touch was fine. I mean, I, and I think I, I'm actually, I don't know what he was trying to do. I, I think he just panicked uh, with it coming off the back or the sidewall there. And, and unlucky that he just puts it basically well, right directly his at his net. net. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think he was trying to loft the ball and I believe he thought he had a teammate I, more centered in the goal who would be able to handle it. But the real killer there was that the third man was right on top of Jane Apps. So yep. it was completely open. And despite being significantly more held to the ground, NRG had 15 shots at this point in game number one, only five here in game two, but still a tie game. 10 from G2. A lot more output from them in this game. Still only one goal to show for it. And now they're sitting tied up. They're going to need another one. Maybe this is the chance. That one comes clean oh. off the back wall. Chicago's oh. there. It's too high. j -Nap's trying to follow up. Can't get there. And Justin will clear it away. You guys talking about high shot output for both these teams. This is the reason they're both the second and fourth in goals per game. Oh. Oh. Both of these guys really good at scoring goals. It oh. takes a crazy hop off the post. And Garrett G able to make the recovery effort. Unflucky for G2 with 20 seconds remaining or so. And oh! NRG is still just what? hanging on by a thread. Hanging on by a Justin here. Everybody getting tangled up over and over again. And just one player, the one player that has all four wheels on the ground and is facing the ball is just not made a mistake. Time has expired. G2 is going to try and go for this buzzer beater, but this ball will hit the ground. Overtime in game two. My goodness, 13 shots now for G2 to the five of NRG, but NRG, 10 saves. Kind of a reversal from last game, at least mm -hmm. in the stat department. And here comes G2 again. Dries, he wants it all. Going off the back wall, looking for follow-up. Hey! G2 is there, and the G2 put it away on a beautiful passing play. Just moments after kickoff here, Squishy completely airballs on that read, and then Garrett G slow on the reaction. JNAPS has an open net to hit. And we saw that basically exact series moments before with like 15 seconds left on the game clock from G2. They just weren't able to actually hit the back of the net here. They run it back and this time it works out. You got to be actually incredibly satisfied with uh, JNAP's ability to follow up on that shot so quickly, right? Because if you actually noticed how he shot that, he got up so early for it. He was actually able to hit the wheels instead of trying to race to the ball against the defender. He's able to get all the way above it and make sure he could fit it under that crossbar. It was actually a pretty tight window to nail. So Anap's reading the game very well and definitely making up for the equalizer he allowed late. <laughs>
That is very true. <laughs> but I forgot I will, about that. I, I will throw in too. I mean, aside from the gift that uh, JNAPS gave to NRG, uh, they were held scoreless in this game. I mean, realistically, JNAPS. 99 times out of 100 would never do that again. So uh, <laughs> for NRG, a very, very tough game. And I, I think that goes to show that G2 got to play their play style here in this game. I think it was a lot more even in the previous game, but when it came to this game, G2 certainly owned, uh, or I should say controlled the pitch. You saw a lot of space uh, for Chicago on the ball in the midfield to pick and choose where he wanted to go. Dries played perfectly in that third man position. So G2 really got that play style going that we've seen the, in the uh, previous two sets against uh, FaZe and Rogue. That's the G2 that's gonna take down NRG if they're gonna take this set. Oh, and the thing I'm gonna be watching for here in game three is, is do these defensive misreads from NRG that we saw in the last 60 seconds of game two continue here, or was that just two, two rare outliers that happened in quick, in quick succession? Because if that, if that continues here, NRG's got a real problem. Absolutely. I mean, that that's kind of the difference between game one and game two, right? NRG always able to find that nice, strong clear down the field, or at least get somebody to trap the ball, take it out on a dribble, force a challenge, buy a little extra time, and just not present in game two. And Definitely a large part of the reason why you see G2 put up over 10 shots. It was 14, I believe, at the end of regulation. So, yeah, a complete flip flop in the stats department from game one to game two. And JNAP took a monster flick. Squishy will catch this one and take it to the wall. And out to his corner, he'll get it over the top of JNAPs and the one man wrecking crew. Squishy no puts way. a shot on target and Dries oh. has to make a save. What a play. Just a solo effort there from Squishy, yeah. muscling it, one willing it downfield. But here comes Chicago. It comes out to JNAPS. That's oh, a great wow. shot in the top oh. left corner. Unreal from JNAPS. That's what I'm talking about. It, you see it just a little short of it's that just, replay, though. It's JNAPS touch off the side wall that lets Chicago come forward and take that ball. It's so easy for JNAPS to just take that ball, force it into the NRG corner and go and fight for possession. But it's like I said, they just get that ball back out into the middle of the field with space to work with, and they convert another goal because of it. It's so and, good. Well, and NRG is scared of it. You, I don't know if you noticed, but Chicago, the moment he hits the air dribble, Justin t jumps in net, and Gary G coming out of the corner also leaps for it. He gets a defensive double commit out of him, and so then as Justin's falling back down, there's, he's completely out of the play. JNAPS' shot is, is amazing, and it's, it's a difficult shot to save, but someone like Justin, if he's on the ground after Gary G makes the challenge, he's able to get close to JNAPS on the shot and, sh and shut down significantly more of that shooting window there. Mm. The pressure, NRG just feeling this pressure from G2 right now and making defensive mistakes. Ooh, oh, not again, it's coming two. out, yeah. JNAPS. <laughs> A lot of physical bumps coming out uh, from both sides, but mostly from G2. Uh, the bumping game and of course the demos you're seeing from G2 oh. are opening up some space. That's a great save oh. from Dries. He's going to get back to what? it now. And here he comes with all this space. G2. They're playing phenomenally right now against NRG, who have looked strong all season. But right now, they've been bunched up on their own back line. That's a backflip from Justin. What? Second ah. touch from Chicago. What Disaster on the goal line. Uh, you, you, it, well, the question what just happened, the old fields backflip, man. Oh. Justin definitely headed for that one. And the oh. rare mechanical mishap doesn't happen too often. But every now and again, it comes back to bite you. And Chicago able to get a free layup there. For a second on the, on the director cam, it almost looked like Justin bumped into Garrett and then flipped to try and deal with it and just <laughs> made it even worse. But no, just the yeah, the, the feels back. Play, it's not often that you see one of those where it is just so obviously that and energy on the other side of things here, narrowly missing their first goal. And I think it's it, like you guys have been alluding to, it's been quite obvious for NRG. They've been giving a lot of space oh. over to G2, oh. but maybe too much space. Don't give it to Garrett. What? Watch Garrett. Look, he's on the backboard the whole time. They don't know he's here. Wow. <laughs> how many times you see Garrett G do that? I mean, think about how many times he's gone right next to the net, got the redirect to beat the last man, jumped over somebody's shoulder as he's coming out from behind him. I mean, he's been doing that for as long as we've been watching him play, I feel like. Oh, here comes the pressure. Dries having to play all by himself here. And Dries has been genuinely the MVP for G2 in this war in this regional championship. As Justin drops another one for Garrett, oh, this one going to be just too high and cleared away. JNAP's over the top of the back line. Chicago's got an open net to shoot at, and Justin won't wow. get to reach it. 3-1 G2. Wow. wow. That one hurts 
for NRG. That one should have been put away on that second touch there. And what a transition from G2 to move down the field so fluidly. Everyone getting a touch to move it away from their net and put a shot on target. So efficient from G2 to get themselves out of a tough spot. And NRG hurting here in this game. Pressure, JNAPS with the save. Follow from Squishy, possibly? No, he's all the way back after being demolished, and he wasn't even there. Now, Garrett G off the midfield. Here's Squishy up for it. He's gonna try and connect with the teammate. Back to Garrett G. Oh. What a pass, and onto the backboard. Dries is gonna close on it quickly, though, and get so much power behind that touch. The ball bounces in the blue after being on the backboard. Justin kind of forced into that punt there because he doesn't have boost. Normally you'd like to see the trap, but doesn't feel comfortable taking a dribble with no boost for not a lot of reasons. So elects to take the space and NRG locked in this midfield fight for control. Oh, -ho! and they'll win they it. The, <laughs> look at that. The pass, the dunk pass to Squishy. Get a second goal. What a what placement or rather what positioning from uh, Squishy to wait for this one to come across the box. And happy to see it pinch across. G2 had two players there on the near post, but just not enough to keep that one away. NRG fighting back here. This has been a tough game for them. And it's been a tough couple games, really, for NRG. They are putting a little bit more pressure on G2, I guess, in this one compared to the previous game. But still, G2 able to play their game is exactly what you don't want if you're on the blue side. Squishy's reads in the air have been Uncharacter uncharacteristically off for the past six minutes. He, he, got another. he gets a <laughs> Oh, there <laughs> goes Garrett Jean <laughs> Justin to finish it off and tie the game. His reads have been uncharacteristically off as he nails the double tap good. pass. And Garrett good. G sets one up for Justin. Unlucky timing, Wave. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> look, 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 look. It's when he has the ball, it's okay. It's when he's reading <laughs> other people's touches that has been the problem. It's a defensive error, not an offense. <laughs> Oh, caster curses. Oh, oh, man, three to do. Yeah, they're trying. 42 seconds left. High game in game three. Looking to take the lead in the series. Both teams on the board. And RG have certainly picked it up here in this final minute. That's a couple yeah. of misses from G2. Another one coming clean off the back ah. wall. Garrett, can he get to it? Tough read. And that was a big chance there for NRG to take a late lead. Always a stretch, good. I mean, he definitely knew it was coming. He just wasn't positioned very well. Try as he might, it was always going to be a difficult shot. And I think G2 probably just going to try and hold out here for OT. They don't really have a lot of boost and a lot of people. So kind of have to just wait for an RG and then see if they maybe get the last chance. Four seconds left. And overtime in game two. Do we have another one in game three? There's a shot. <gasps> Garrett is trying to keep Whoa, the pressure on. Ooh. He's got it above. Squishy's got boost to reach this. Back across, oh but he's going to cross the net with no shot. They'll put it into the ground. Overtime in game three. Whew. G2, they're bailed out right there. <laughs> that was a close one for NRG. And here comes JNAPS, though. This one not on target. A dangerous situation. Have not seen too many air dribbles from JNAPS. It's been mostly Chicago and Dries picking that ball up. JNAPS has done well in the midfield. That's great oh, no! demo. It's oh, just in. Gosh. It's just in for Dries on the pinch. The demo opening up the near post. And G2 in 15 seconds take him down. Wow. Wow. Oh, I, I, and it's not a bad play from NRG, to be honest. I mean, Justin wins the fight for the ball, and he's just got to hop up to the wall and go for the challenge. And I mean, Dree just has him sized up just the right way. <laughs> it takes that perfect little pinch right off the car and that demo at the perfect time. Oh, perfect storm for G2 right there. I mean, just look at the look at the difference in demolitions here on the end game scoreboard. Three to nine Eight, there. Nine, yeah. Three times as many from G2. And the last one, the most important, making their own success here, take away the goalies there to win it in overtime. And what a back and forth game. Weird. This, this was a bizarre game from beginning to end. It was. Uh, and I just want to point out, too, on the uh, the physicality of the game. I know Rizzo's not on the field anymore, but Dries has certainly, uh, you know, picked up the mantle and ran with it here. I, at one point, I think it was this game of the game previous where he got uh, two demos and then bumped the third man out. He got a piece of everybody on NRG. Now, NRG still got back. It was great from them to get back. But 
uh, Dries has been a menace. And it's not just him, too. You saw Chicago getting involved, especially in the goal line. Like they are chasing NRG players into their own net and pushing them out of the way if they don't get the demo. That's what, that's what Garrett G said in the, in the interview, right? He's like, you know, I'm <laughs> you're really annoying to play against, but, you know, I'm glad we're both here and I'm ready to get demoed a lot. So they, they know <laughs> it's coming, right? <laughs> We'll see uh, how G2 continue here. Does NRG find a way to bounce back after losing two overtimes in a row? NRG with the game in front of them and not able to clutch it either time. Here comes some early pressure. Justin keeps on the backboard in Chicago. We'll clear it out to JNAPS. Cross there were a lot. Trees. We'll try to set up Chicago, but it'll be guaranteed to pick it up. There was a lot of squandered chances uh, from NRG. A lot of crossbar hits yeah, or, or shots just over the net. Yeah, thinking back to a couple of them. And that, I mean, obviously could have been the, the difference maker. But, you know, there were chances for NRG. And, and that you couldn't have said that maybe in a previous nice. game. But there were chances for NRG to, to at least, uh, you know, take the lead, if not win this game. And this could Ooh, be the first chance Wow, they convert. Man, look at Squishy again. The solo transitions. We saw a great one in game three. Now here in game four, all the pass to eliminate two defenders and Garrett G to finish it off. That's a couple times G, uh, G2 get caught as well on that transition from NRG, right? If they all get caught moving back and they don't just force the challenge out of Squishy right there, if one person hits the brakes and just makes Squishy do something a lot earlier, instead of them both just heading back and giving a little more ground, you, you wonder if it's going to be any different. I mean, there's no way to know for sure. It's just... You see Squishy just take the free space like that and set up a nice pass. I don't know what else you were going to expect. There's Janops off the ceiling, looking for Dries on the outside. He'll connect with them. The shot's just wide, nearly gets the dunk Ooh. on Justin. Follow from Chicago, oh. blocked by Gary G. And Squishy going to try and get out here to the ball in time. But Dries on the half rotation, back in. Justin with a monster read, pushes it out. But look at the counterattack from G2, back in once more. And they're building the pressure. Look how they're moving the ball around the field, too. They went from the right side all the way to the left corner and then back across. They are just moving the ball. And and that's why NRG ah. have been kind of bunched up in their own half and in their own goal line. But this ball gets away from oh, G2 and Garrett no. puts what? it away with a rocket. Jane, who? Oh, he just missed it. I really thought Jane Apps was going to have a good look at that. Couldn't quite get on his player cam, but oh. I don't know. I, I feel like he should have been able to get there. He's in that weird spot um, yeah, around he's the headed post. Up the wall. Yeah. You know, like I feel like there's a chance that one of his wheels got like into the, the vacuum of the goal and pulled him offline, but still. Or yeah. could it just been a turn radius thing? I mean, he, mm. he did just cut up the wall. He might not have just had the time to turn the car back around. I still think he got there. I think Garrett just hit that. He struck it so well. Yeah. Tough to react to. He knew it was coming, but he didn't know it was coming like that. And NRG. They're working a two for two on the shots. Garrett, two for two, squishy. Well, he'll be 0 for one, but that was a good effort. And energy enjoying, I believe, the greatest lead of the series so far. A 2-0. That was a very, very close game from beginning to end. Justin and Garrett Jean on the midfield with Chicago creating chaos. We'll set it up for Jay Naps. He's got Squishy down here alone. Drees, the pass down. That shot is just wide. Squishy had the shot covered as well, had it been inside the post. And NRG lighting up here in game four. That's a great block from Squishy just to make sure G2 can't get things set up. And that's exactly what NRG need to do. They just, I think they had to pick up uh, that kind of physical or in your face type of game. It doesn't have to be physical, but staying in front of the faces of G2 and making sure that there's not an opportunity for them to have that hard clear downfield that G2 has gotten so many times. NRG are trying to move the ball around here as well, but just can't hang on to it. Yep, there's that space, there's the pass, wow. and there's the goal. <laughs> I mean, you just saw Gary G, he rotated out of that midfield because he needs boost, and that leaves a huge gap right there in the middle. Chicago just drops it down. <laughs> you get that physicality on the goal line. And Jane Epps. Jane Epps. Every time. He every was, time. He was chasing Squishy up the post as well. Squishy was right there on the back wall, but Jane Epps went right after him. But no boost, too, just double jumping at him and chasing Squishy away to make sure that he could dive onto that play. G2 on the scoreboard in game four. Gadget the outside. He's going to loft it for Squishy, who's alone with the ball onto the backboard. No one's home there either, and he gets hey. it underneath the crossbar. Squishy lighting it up. 3 1 NRG. There you go. That's what we're talking about for NRG. Finally beating one under the crossbar, and what a beautiful Ooh. second touch. G2 Ooh. is not getting up in time, using all of his boost as well. There's Squishy coming alive, and NRG back up by two.
He might be onto something there, Wave. He, he, <laughs> I've seen Squishy on offense. He's been nailing everything. <laughs> oh, bananas right now. Especially when he has, when he has time alone with the ball. I mean, this is it's an axiom of Rocket League. Don't ever give Squishy time alone with the ball. And he's showing why. Drees now to this corner. Squishy will challenge him again. And Chicago jumps this one down into the midfield. JNAPS will push it off to the wall before Justin can take control. But NRG going to try and weasel this one away from G2. 118 left to go. NRG going to try and make it a oh, three goal game, and they will. Oh, okay, Placement from Garrett G there. 4 <laughs> 1. Perspective got the better of me there. I thought nah. Garrett G missed that one. <laughs> oh, man. That's tough. Chicago, JNAPS. Uh, Chicago and JNAPS out of boost. Drees racing back as well. G2 just kind of caught there. Down three goals now NRG has certainly put away their opportunity something I said earlier in this game now NRG converting when the opportunity presents itself and it's tough for G2 to stay in this one minute left G2 definitely have a difficult task ahead of them down by three but this this game also just ties up the series the best of sevens quite mm -hmm. the lengthy affair here and the first of three potentially three between these teams we knew this is one of those this is one of those classic matches matchups here in north america and i i'm i am so ready for this to go the full distance i'd honestly really could it, it's very possible you get all 21 here i would 100 percent believe that if you told me what's gonna happen I mean, we're trading games at the moment so it's certainly not out of the question we haven't had that happen yet in any of the series. Obviously, the first days yeah, were we best close. of fives, but we didn't go to 15. We went, went to 14. We got close. I know it was 13. Excuse me. Chicago. Either way. <laughs> Seven <laughs> seconds left here to try and just put one more on the board, but it's not going to happen. NRG solve a lot of their problems here in game four and take the win there to tie the series. Well, there's one, right? I mean, solve a lot of the problems, but... That's kind of the thing is how long does it stay fixed, right? Is it really uh, struggling to handle what G2's throwing at you? Or is it just you find yourself in some highly advantageous positions with, you know, Squishy and, and Garrett both getting great setups on the ball and making solid challenges. I mean, Squishy with two great offensive sequences here in this one to get him out in front and this is really the only play from g2 that they were able to get much going so that challenge game went so well on their own half but how long does it last right i i think you bring up a good point chiefs especially for nrg when you i mean garrett said it himself he's like we have a lot of great individual players well how many opportunities are these individual players getting chances on target this game quite a few garrett three for three squishy yeah. also having a couple close opportunities as well scoring one of his so uh when nrg do get those chances when they are in space or have a clean touch off the back wall nrg clearly uh, can Real take enough. down G2 in, in a very convincing fashion. But how long is, to your point, how long is G2 going to let that happen? So it really is on, on G2 to make a change here and slow down NRG, especially on a lot of these individual efforts. Well, I, I feel like maybe I, I, I'm going to be watching for it here in game five. Is this a situation that NRG is creating that space for their solo players to be strong? Or are they um, being given the space by G2? Because what we saw in games two and three was a suffocating pressure from G2 just constantly in NRG's face and not giving them any moments alone with the ball. You know, to me, it looks a lot more like G2 is the one creating that space with that physicality. And when NRG is getting the space, it's more just a product of the situation that G2 finds themselves in, you know, rotating out on uh, through the midfield, having to go get boost and giving a little extra time. Or, you know, there's just that little bit of extra space because someone makes a really nice catch with the ball in the midfield line and they start a quality air dribble. I think G2 is really leading the, the pact in space creation and NRG is just converting when they have the opportunity. First minute, back and forth here. One solid shot from NRG. But still scoreless, and then the follow-up. Oh, Gary G denies on the goal line. Chicago putting his best effort in. Now Drees looking for JNAPS. Chicago going to try and close to the wall and slow down the NRG rotation. But JNAPS will just send one to the goal and force the defenders to stay on this. They get him one out, but Justin on the goal line makes the stop. Chicago to check, catch this one off the ceiling, sends it up for JNAPS, and it's onto the backboard. Squishy Ooh, actually lost awesome. it the way JNAPS thinks about challenging and then thinks better of it to back off. First minute coming and going. 
<laughs> Every clear from NRG. It's one touch met by G2. Another touch met by G2. This is the first time now a couple players from NRG getting a single touch on it to move it away. But G2 did a great job of locking in NRG. Not successful, but here comes oh! Garrett. Second yep. touch puts no! it away. You, just, you can't give them two free touches. Yep, hey. there's the <laughs> and no one really creates it, right? I mean, there might be a little bump on someone right there. I think it's squishy going for Dries, but I don't think that even mattered. I mean, Dries was never going to be able to actually go up and challenge Garrett for that, right? Like, he's already right next to the ball. Dries just has to let the guy behind him try and make the play. And that's that difference. Well, NRG gets that space and they make you pay for it. I, I'd say that that one, like the, to, certain, to a certain extent, it's the circumstance. But on the other hand, it is Garrett G creating okay. his own spaces. Oh. So we have multiple Ooh. players grounded from NRG. And well, there will be a pause. Okay. The sound, the sound, when there were two players sitting there with their brakes okay. on, something, something's up. But the, Garrett G there, he, he's, he's coming off the wall, right? He sees the ball in front of him. He can choose to put it onto the backboard. I think most players would put themselves onto the backboard in that situation, put the ball onto the backboard, but there's our defender there who would challenge it away easily from G2. Garrett G chooses to go to the ceiling instead and give himself more time, force the defender off the wall into an, a disadvantageous situation, right? Maybe the defender chooses to stay on the wall and wait for the shot. He's got a better chance to block it, but once he dismounts, it's Garrett's goal. Yeah, you, you have to wait on the wall, though, as soon as you see Garrett G take that up to the ceiling, right? I mean, it, you can't try and jump at it too early. You kind of have to see what his options are when it comes back down, because you have to match up the trajectory of Garrett G with how he hits the ball. And if you jump too early, you kind of put yourself in a little bit of a worse situation. It's a little bit different than challenging somebody on an air dribble, right? Because if they're on an air dribble, the trajectory is fairly locked. I mean, maybe they can adjust it down or up a little bit. But when you're hitting it off the ceiling like that, you, you got to see that one extra bounce to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. And that little extra time is kind of all you need in a couple of situations. It's a, it goes to show what we were talking about uh, in the intermission between the games here. A NRG, individual efforts, individual plays. Garrett, uh, certainly capable of putting shots away like that. And <laughs> given the time and space, he certainly will. So for G2, like you guys are talking about, they have to close that space down, regardless of how they do it. They have to close that space down. And again, like Chief said, it, it was kind of a, a product of the circumstance. It was very tough for G2 to actually get up to that play, but still, that's where you have to show up because G2, or excuse me, uh, Garrett is going to take advantage. Well, and like Achieve said in the beginning of this game, we had one NRG touch immediately met by G2. And then like they would have a few opportunities and then NRG would get one touch again, immediately met by G2. When that's happening, when G2 is just one step ahead of NRG like that in the midfield, this is this is G2's series to lose and NRG is just trying to hold on and survive. It's the moment they find those little moments of saying G2 said, hey, let's back off and get boost. The NRG is successfully punishing. You talk about the efficiency from Garrett G in game four there. That sort of efficiency is, is it makes it so difficult. G2 has to play perfectly despite them having that pressure that no one knows how to deal with. The moment they let up, energy's in their half. Well, we will get back in underway here. Everyone back into the kickoff. Still 1-0, starting at uh, 324 here. Just kind of resetting with the kickoff. Everyone's back here in the lobby, ready to play. They're ready to go. They're solving whatever technical issue they had. Chicago down the field onto the backboard. Justin out to Garrett G. Looking for more pressure, gets two defenders out of it. Squishy's up for it. He's got no one challenging him, but Drees remounted the wall and was able to get out to the ball in time to block the shot from Squishy. Now Squishy having to stay on the ground, seeing JNAP's already airborne. Garrett G will take it to the outside. I actually really like that touch from JNAP's. He kind of sees that high float from Justin, and instead of really trying to force a double tap, just a slow floater up towards the ceiling, force NRG to use a lot of that extra boost to go mm -hmm. up and get that one. It kind of makes it tough to really get a solid catch on it when it's right up there going to be against the backboard right near that top corner and it allows G2 to get themselves sorted to have a chance to stay on offense, which they've done. Trees midfield here in halftime. Trying to hold on to the ball and Justin will slow things down. What a pass actually a little bit too strong. Neither of his teammates I think expected him to get it past the defender in the corner. There's JNAPS through another one. Garrett G to the sky, wow. flip reset. Drees takes it away from him. Smacked away by Drees. And that's, and that's kind of the aggression that you need out of your defensive half. Not letting Garrett get up to that. He wanted to take that one into an air dribble. And who knows what would happen. Here he comes again. NRG threatening. 
He's running into JNAPs, but he still holds on to the ball here. Here comes G2 now. Chicago can't get to it, and Squishy will clear it away. There's Drees towards the goal. Justin will handle it, no problem. Ooh. And he'll get a second one. JNAPs now. Pressure to the backboard. Squishy's there, and it's Justin again for NRG. Three touches in a row for Justin on defense. It's actually that one nice shot from G2 straight back towards the net when you thought NRG was going to have a chance to clear that ability to just force NRG to go right back into defense. Oh, oh, of thinking oh, clear it. oh my gosh, a bullet from Chicago. I, it, that happened so fast, I couldn't even <laughs> tell how Chicago got a touch on it. Dries rips it out of it. Chicago, what? The, oh, it came <laughs> off of Gary. It bounced off the crossbar. Oh no, he's not going to like that one, but it still went in, oh. teammates. It still went in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Wild stuff there. I mean, the, G2 had created a great situation for themselves, though. They had bumped Justin yeah. into their own half. They had beaten Garrett G on the challenge, and then Squishy is just caught alone in net and has to react. Garrett G's up to try and cover oh. the back shot that Justin, just to give more coverage there, because he knows Squishy's reacting, and then ends up being a surface to bounce the ball off of. And here we are tied up again, two overtimes in this game, in this series already. How about a third? A little bit tight here for NRG. I think they're playing slightly too close, and that's why they took that extra moment to back themselves off a little bit. They didn't want to have that deep open net opportunity given up and just let G2 out in front with 30 left. Oh, what a pass. 30 seconds left. Here's Drees out of the corner. He's got Squishy in front of him. He'll get it underneath him. Wow. And then take a neutral challenge off of Garrett. Justin caught in the midfield on a flip. JNAPS puts it on oh, target, what? and Garrett what? G can't get there in time. NRG collapse on defense. And he was so meticulous with this touch. So oh. off mm. timing, I think, threw off the defense a little bit because yeah. he's kind of just flipping through the air. But then he gets a little bit more power than expected on it. Wow, what a shot. That backflip got Garrett to hit the brakes a little bit on the wall. And you're right, absolutely threw off the timing there. And combine that, like you said, with that extra power. <laughs> what a shot from the knapsack. Oh, it's squishy. Again, doesn't reach the ball in time. Garrett G out to Justin. Back down to Garrett G. They Ooh. keep it alive at the final second. Chicago actually keeps the ball up, but it's over the top of most of NRG. They'll go to the ground. G2, steal game five. Wow. And go into game Jeez. six on match point. Jeez, Corelli. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Unexpected. I mean, especially with the way that game started off, it felt like NRG really came out strong, uh, obviously with the Garrett goal, but Man, that late, the late game heroics from G2 and JNAPS, what a way uh, to put your team into the lead. Uh, phenomenal stuff here from G2 to stay in it. And again, those passing plays are really paying off here for G2. You know, one for six for JNAPS, but what a one for six, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a, no better Man. time to hit a banger. And what's up, Wave? Garrett G, you could see him in the cam after that go ahead goal got scored he f he's frustrated i mean that was that was two saves and a two two goals in a row that went off of his bumper into ah. his net feeling that the, like i was there i was in the right spot just couldn't wasn't quite perfect enough to make the save and as we get into game six we're gonna have to shake off that mental boom and reset Be interesting here to see how NRG bounces back. That's a tough one to lose. Oh, what a pass. Uh, it goes onto the backboard instead. Oh my goodness gracious. What a clear. You, you gotta love clears like that. I mean, you get the hard shot right over your shoulder and you get the perfect rebound off the wall. Those, those touches are, they, they don't say much on the stat sheet, but boy, does it manage the game so well when you get those yeah. hits. Efficiency here, squishy. Underneath Chicago. We've seen Squishy completely dismantle G2 all by himself a number of times in the series. He's trying to do it again. He's past two now. Up against JNAPS. Gets the dunk on him. And here's Garrett G. Oh, back oh, to Squishy. Oh. oh, man. He gets through all the defenders again. There just wasn't the player in front of the net to sink it home. So close, but so far. Garrett again. Second touch. Can't get across it. Now Squishy, he wants to pick it up. And he'll be taken out oh, of the equation. Night. Chicago. Justin with a phenomenal oh, touch. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, oh, Justin. Oh, oh, oh. What was that recovery? <laughs> you can see Drees lean back in the chair when that one went in the net. He's like, oh, oh my wow. goodness. He wow. knew he got cooked. <laughs> <laughs>
tight handles from Justin, oh. and what a goal. Oh, but quality of touch, holy cow. Quality of landing, too. To, it, like, the first touch is good, but it's the way he turns his car around yeah. <laughs> and immediately cranks one to the nut. Oh, it was brilliant. And now there's the follow-up from G2, looking to tie the game. Oh, it was just wide of the goal. And Justin's Ooh, challenge goes neutral, and Jane oh. just says, hello, free ball, tie game. <laughs> It's squishy. Where'd he go? Oh, he went for boost. Wrong time. Unlucky. Dana's just going for a walk in the park here. It's <laughs> wide open. There's just nobody there. Squishy kind of uh, getting pulled to that side of the field and just didn't expect that to go back across to the back post. Jana says, hello. Thank you very much. I'll take that one. And G2 able to tie it up. Oh, the pass across to Garrett, but the ball's closer to Jnaps here, and Garrett's got to go for second touch. I'll get a neutral one, and now it goes up against another player. Again, neutral squishies up for this one with space. Drops it back oh, on the right Garrett, down. puts it towards the goal, but Jnaps blocks the ground shot, and now G2 on the counterattack. Oh, it's... that was a great touch from Jnaps. He didn't go for the initial shot. He didn't have enough boost to catch up to. his moving just a bit too fast. It's a good touch back out, but no one there from G2 to really capitalize. Now Jnaps again finds himself with open space, oh. but didn't get the touch. Still opportunity for G2, but it might dwindle away here. Chicago oh, no. now on the dribble. Garrett, huge Whoa! save on the goal line. Oh, it still no! goes in for Drees. <laughs> you thought Watch. they got away with it. You thought. Watch. And then Drees is just camped out over there. Oh. He's just cruising out to steal oh. some corner boost. And Justin, I mean, what what are you going to do? You, <laughs> you have no way through the brick wall of Drees. Oh, and Garrett right before that, indecisive on the backboard. He couldn't decide whether to stay or whether to fall. And so he... Falls, his, his front two wheels go over the post, and then he wraps into the goal because of it, because he's not just choosing to slam to the ground. He's so much more loose for that play than he should have been on what could have been a routine clear. And they get punished here. G2 now with the lead on match point. Two minutes, 37 seconds away from taking the first series against NRG. Man, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel well for the desk. It would certainly be a shocking result. NRG certainly has time get back into this one. G2, though, playing extraordinary Rocket League at the moment. They have certainly proven that this Drees guy's no joke and that they can play yeah. to maybe even a new level, a higher level than they were before. And that's certainly happening here in this series. Yeah, there, there, there's no, there is no question of does Drees fit into this roster or anything like that anymore. This, he yeah. is 100% a, a pivotal piece here. What a pre-jump. Oh. And oh my gosh, the pressure. Garrett oh. G trying to get JNAPS out of the net, but no, the clears still come through. Now Drees up against Justin. Squishy comes underneath to take control. JNAPS with pressure after him. Ball changing hands moment to moment. Gosh. This is, G2 bumps got to be so frustrated to handle. You think NRG is about to go get a nice challenge on the ball, and then you're getting shoved away and put back into a strange spot on the pitch. There's Justin. Back for Drees in front of him. Looks for a back pass, but both of his teams tight on the near wall. They'll have to cross the entire field to pick up control. And Chicago has other ideas. Just put pressure on them. Again, G2 with the lead. Happy just to play chaos ball. Chicago to the outside with Drees now looking at it. Justin won't make contact. Garrett G has to close the distance and use all of his boost just to get the ball to midfield. But the pass back to him from Justin. Now Garrett G looking Fake. for Squishy no on the change. Way. No, oh. the dual threat catches Drees with him down. Oh, they tie the game. Mm. Garrett, he does not want to lose. He is having an amazing series here against G2. And what a shot oh, wow. to change it up on the flip <laughs> and to still get 60 miles an hour behind it to tie it up. Monster play from Garrett. Hard to handle for Drees. I mean, you see what looks like Garrett G thinking he's going to bring it back down and go for the pass, but then it's that yeah. air roll to the outside to get back under the ball with a late flip. Ugh. Well, Drees uh, got a lot to learn on defense still, it would seem, at the top <laughs> level. I, dude, that air roll still kind of looks like a pass. Such a difficult play to read. Like, just, uh, Garrett G cloaked it so well. Yeah. And now, with 30 seconds left, they've tied the game up, but... Every overtime in this series has gone G2's way. The late game ties have not been good for NRG. G2 going to try and put them away right now. Here comes the more pressure from Drees. Justin out of the goal. Inside out makes the save. Chicago now looking for JNAPS in the midfield. He's got Justin to deal with on the backboard. This one dropping dangerously, but Justin will add more space between him and the goal. 
Well, 10 seconds oh, left. G2 with oh, the last effort. Gosh. Chicago can't get it through Garrett G. Squishy out to Justin. Chicago trying to give it to JNAPS. Blocked again by Justin. And he'll follow it one more time to take it away from Drees. Clock has expired. Justin chooses to keep it alive, but it will touch the ground. Overtime in game six. Can NRG change the story? NRG happy to see a kickoff here instead of the end of the game. <laughs> G2, were, they were all over him there. Hey, here comes Justin. Is he going to go the distance? Wait. Okay. Oh, wow. I was about to say, he can't do that. that can't be how that goes in, right? <laughs> you can't do that to him. That's not allowed. That's illegal. The old Justin air dribble, oh, miss no. every touch oh. and score it trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary G and Justin both bite on defense, but they're given some space. Justin now off the wall. To JNAPS. Looking for the pass. Gary G will pick it up as the pass is too far forward. Now Justin on the wall and around. Drees trying to take control of his half. Squishy caught in a rough situation here with the 2v1, just trying to buy time. And he does so just by slowing things down and not challenging. That still worked out for G2, but Drees, I think, wanted to pass it over to JNAPS. And JNAPS is cutting in front to try and get a bump. Is that just a dunk? Is that in? No, no, no. It's okay. in for Squishy. Nobody back for G2. And NRG still in it. Dries playing close support there. He's he's kind of following that pass from JNAPS wow. across the pitch, right? And then he realizes, hang on, Chicago's there. I'm in the wrong spot. And that's why he looks so disappointed right now because he knew that, that that was his job to know where his teammates were and he was too far forward there. Just got it poked right over his head. And NRG will be uh, happy with that one and G2 not so much. They'll take a timeout. We'll see how they evaluate things moving into game seven. But we said early on <laughs> this series could go the distance and the, this well, this whole set could go the distance. This series goes to game seven. I, I like the timeout here. I mean, obviously you get one per series, so why not use it, uh, especially on a loss going into the seventh game? Honestly, I, I think there's a lot of good things to be said in this timeout for G2. I think this was a quality game. Uh, just unfortunate there at that last goal. Uh, energy played well at the same time, but honestly, G2 were all over them. They just couldn't convert, especially in those final, what, 20, 30 seconds or so. It felt like this series should have been over had they put that one away. Uh, so I, I don't think there's a lot of negative to say here for G2. I think it's the small things. NRG, obviously the individual plays we've talked about quite a bit, but also NRG have done a great job of converting on those half chances, those fringe chances where G2, they don't get the best touch. It gets away from them. They're out of position, low boost type of deal. Uh, so for G2, uh, I think this is a, a, an opportunity to compliment themselves while at the same time talking about the little things that they need to change. It's NRG also discussing. No presence you know, of Sizz here for the semifinals. We'll be back for the next series if there is one. You know, if I'm in RG, I'm thinking every time you see Drees in the backfield, just get him in a one on one somehow, some way, and you'll convert it. Because I'm pretty sure all three goals in that game six came mm. because Drees is the third man. That's it, it, man, and we, we've been complimenting Drees so much over the last two days and, and well earned as well. Uh, but it, you do wonder is this for for a, a rookie situation? Like, what what are the weaknesses of rookies? And oftentimes, high stakes matches on your in your initial season. This is the most important match that Drees has ever played. And if they win, the next match will will be even more important than this one. So. I don't know. Game seven, Verizon game seven here. Let's get into it and see who takes the first series. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, because the thing is for Dries, every game has been the most important game for him and he has performed <laughs> yeah. in just about every single one. And yeah, I, I don't but... think it boils down to a simply Dries was the last man, therefore bad. I think there's more to it than that. And I think for G2, uh, there were a lot of things that broke down, especially maybe over committing in a few of those plays that mm -hmm. let Dries have these one on one situations where he didn't have to. Well, and it wasn't even one on ones necessarily. It was oftentimes one v twos. Like that last shot from Garrett G. Like I don't think any defender is saving yeah. <laughs> that shot. Yeah, no. That is so difficult. Squishing a long one. Drees to the corner. Squishy will go for the boost grab, and Garrett G keep the pressure on. Drees trying to chase Squishy out of his half. We won't find a demolition, and now Chicago has to play cleanly here. JNAP's bumping oh, Garrett wow. G, and that'll help uh, isolate the defenders here from energy as G two transitions to offense. I, I, I fan through a lot of the NRG players, and oftentimes, as I'm fanning through, 
One of them just gets smacked by oh, three. Wow. Not wow. there in time here. Justin smacks it into the G2 gold and our G up Garrett, by one. Garrett G. Jeez. What a touch to the wall. Uh, uh, again, oh. Dries is third man, but what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't think it matters who's back there. I mean, that was a great play from NRG moving it through the midfield. I mean, they had yeah. <laughs> gone through two, two players already. Already, Dries, had he had a half second more, he might have popped out on the in and out save there and made the save. It's still a fantastic play from NRG to start things off here in game seven. That's yeah, uh, a... Garrett G highlight real assist play and everyone can just sit there and marvel at how good it was. <laughs> but I mean, this is also what the desk was talking about. NRG, a, a triple threat offense, a triple threat team. The shot, the, the pass from Garrett G immaculate, but Justin getting up for the shot as well. Not an easy feat. And to be and to have that pass read early enough oh to my. be airborne oh for the shot. Gosh. And now more pressure from NRG. They continue to pile it on. Creating that space so well on the approaches, you know, they, they make G2 feel less confident in the approach. And oh, and our G manipulating that oh. timing. So oh, wow. and there oh. it is, Garrett no. G gets the redirect, takes it away from the goalie the second time in this series. This guy's a beast. What a what? series, Garrett G. Look at that touch. He's done it all. He's done it all this series on offense, on defense, highlight plays. My goodness, Garrett carrying G or NRG at the moment looking so good oh that's the, that's the goals you don't dream you don't, you don't even dare to dream will actually happen oh my gosh that was incredible 2-0 NRG NR Garrett out here that's what the G stands for uh, that's exactly what the G stands for as I take a shot on the other side G2 tired of all of the glory going the other way, trying to put the pressure back on. As game seven has been, the speed of game seven has been wholly controlled by NRG Ooh. here. Now the pass plays from G2 might Ooh. change it up. No, Squishy meets him on the point of contact. Now a counter attack. Squishy and Garrett G barreling down on JNAPS, who will find the corner boost. Now look for Drees in the midfield, or Chicago in the midfield rather, but Garrett G gets there first. Oh, and again, no. the speed on the backboard. Oh, 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 the threat could be enough. <laughs> Squishy lofts it. Justin gonna try and collapse. No, gives JNAPS the space, takes it out of the corner. And now with another touch, Garrett G circling around. He'll put more pressure on and keep this ball trapped in the back third. I feel like I just looked at the clock and already a minute's gone by from since I looked at it. You gotta oh. be real scared here if you're G2. You are not winning the challenge game at all. And you are wasting so much time by having to sit here and fight for the ball on your own half when you need two. <laughs> you need that genuinely it being a two goal game makes things so much more difficult. As squishy can try to put more pressure on JNAP's out to Drees now. Through two squishy one in another challenge. Jabs the wall. Squishy will bump him off the ball, but not before the clear comes through. Garrett need to chase this down. 106 goes oh, to Justin midfield, <laughs> trying to find Garrett. No, on the wall. Squishy moving up the outside. And two players on top of each other here. Important neutral challenge from JNAPS. Now the drop down. Chicago to Drees looking for pressure, oh, but he geez. misses the ball. Squishy now back around, and the counter attack gonna come through. Maybe just even the counter clear, but at this point, buying time will win the series for NRG. Wow, that was a huge opportunity for Drees. That one had to at least be on target. I mean, Chicago can oh. be squeaking through. Oh. Back up behind oh. Garrett. Oh. And G2 still what? alive. What is this dribble from Chicago? I mean, beautiful lay down from JNAPS, but look at that Five. catch. Oh my goodness, Garrett G. Toasted on the goal line there. The hard flick right over your shoulder. What unbeatable. That was, that was the hard work for G2. Now with zero second time unlocked, can they tie us up and send us to another overtime? Final 30 seconds, squishing into this corner. <laughs> Back to Gary G and Justin. JNAPS winning the challenge. G2 struggling in the challenge department Stop early it. in this game. Now starting to change that role, change that story. Drees in the third man. Clears it out to JNAPS, looking for Chicago, but no, just sends it into NRG's half. 10 seconds left. And keep away. Squishy, one of the best players, oh, just pushing him. the ball Saw into it. empty yep. territory, <laughs> and he'll find another one. 3 1, NRG rally back in the first series. Uh, and in a way, Squishy was kind of baiting this. Yeah. He, yeah. he, he, he kind of put, he was backing up, making it look like he was caught in no man's land, and then the touch wasn't really there from G2. And 
he instantly jumped back up after it. That was great work from Squishy, reading that play, knowing that mm -hmm. the game was over if he got that touch. Uh, that was all field awareness. I mean, he knows where that pass is headed, right? It's, they know they can't afford to pass one out towards the corner and just get stuck there with zero seconds. He knows the pass is headed mid, and yeah. he absolutely picked that one off. Great awareness. Wow. Wow. And just, oh, the, the, the change from the beginning of the series to the end of the series. The beginning of the series was so much G2 putting pressure on NRG, creating pressure that NRG didn't know how to deal with. And here in game seven, it, it, you would never believe that if, if you showed me those two games, games two and game seven in a row without name tags on set, I, I would never believe that they were the same two teams playing each other. I, 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 this might be one of three fellas this might be one <laughs> my three be. best oh. of sevens game sevens I, I, seriously I, I both teams are playing so well and and just point out oh, garrett boy. again i cannot Monster. be overstated how good he has looked here in this series alone was, i mean offensively was, insane he's on the bottom of the scoreboard just yeah, no, right? both have more yeah. points than him Absolutely crazy stuff there. Garrett G with two goals and assist um, and two for two on the shot department there in that game. And and both of the shots for what they were and the pass for what it was. Like, oh, it's yes. No, Garrett G is this. And this, this feels like a Garrett G versus Chicago series to me. But we could talk about more about that. It's time for series two of what is shaping up to be an absolute banger. I'm Wave Punk joined by Achieves and Corelli. And uh, guys, so we 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 saw series one be super close but nrg is coming into this currently on a two game win streak including an overtime uh do we feel like it's going to stay that close or is there a momentum building on one side uh you know i think corelli for me a little bit of momentum i think g2 really kind of did get boxed out a little bit there in that game seven but that being said you've had some time to cool off and reset so could go either way but you you have to feel good about NRG and how they looked at the end of that game seven for me. Yeah, I, 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 I think it's still pretty close. I, I, I understand the whole momentum thing, but at the same time, I do feel like a lot of those games were very, very close. And to be honest, they could have gone either way for both teams in, in many of those cases. So uh, we'll see. Uh, what I'm interested to look at is, is how G2 kind of approached this series uh, and see if they can kind of, I think, pick up the pace a little bit because they have been so close on some of these attacks where it just feels like NRG are actually so bunched up in their own corner or in their own uh, goal line that G2 kind of lose possession, don't get the next shot, and then they're instantly countered. And a lot of times it's that individual effort from NRG that we've talked about so much that takes yep. care of them after the attack. Oh, the fake. Oh, wow. The shot just barely widened. Justin gets the save. JNAP setting up the pass to himself and then leaving it for Dries to try and send one to the goal, but we'll stay scoreless here in the beginning of game number one of series two. NRG taking the first series. And if, uh, will they get the second one here? They'll take the set and advance to the finals. Three, one, and I said, I said at the end of the last game, I wanted to talk about Garrett G versus Chicago. To me, we, we talk about how on b both of these teams, they are, there's such a, a wealth of options. They're, they're not one player teams, but the, even even when you have a triple threat offense like NRG, there does generally within a series develop a, a story around a singular player. And obviously Garrett G was that player in the first series here. For me on the side of G2, Chicago was that player with the, the, the solo dribble shots we saw from him, the redirects we were seeing from him as well. He was getting the G2 offense really humming. He certainly yeah. was. Hey, go ahead, Chiefs. Well, I think that uh, that's helped along, of course, uh, in part by JNAPS, because that, that is where I think G2 does a lot of their good work. But I don't think you're wrong to say that Chicago, Ooh. when he got his Ooh. chances, oh my gosh, is that one's just off the, uh, the wall from JNAPS. And Chicago really is a guy that you can depend upon throughout the length of the pitch to get the job done. And he was doing a great job of it. It's just Garrett G decided oh. to pop off a little bit as squishy. No. I mean, uh, that. Bye. <laughs> that's him. <laughs> Look how high he is. Look at this. Oh, oh, that's so good. They're like, no, wait. oh, he's over there. Oh, crap. And then it's it. <laughs> you can see that one developing from a mile away. And there's not mm -hmm. much G2 can do about that one if they don't have someone either on the back wall or up already because of how high Squishy hits that ball from and the angle that he has on target. That's very, very tough for any defender to get up that quickly if they're not already up. And for G2, letting in the first goal, NRG coming along here in this first game of this next best of seven. 
Here's Garrett G now to the sky. He's got Justin on the flank. He's oh going to keep the ball himself oh, to go to the yes. backboard and just oh, double tap it out himself. <laughs> Garrett G with space makes it a two-goal game. <laughs> what? This guy is insane, man. <laughs> Look at him go. He's free playing <laughs> across G2. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good goal. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a goal right there. That's, that's, that's not even the coolest goal he's scored this series, and it's a top five goal <laughs> any other day of RLCS. Oh, it might even be a top five goal today. I mean, we're just going to have a top five be all Garrett Gina tomorrow. That would actually be wild. Imagine. <laughs> top five Garrett's. Top five Garrett's. <laughs> I mean, Which Garrett really are you is. today? I'm number four. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, any of them are good at this point. <laughs> he's, he's making a highlight reel for himself. The G2 really got to stop him. And we've talked about it so many times now in that last series, and we're saying it again. You really got to get a handle on... Uh, each individual player at NRG, they, they have just been attacking the net so aggressively, and even Garrett finding so much space just seems unacceptable at this Ooh. point. That's a good oh. shot from Chicago, Ooh, beat him. <laughs> Wow, look at this pass play. So efficient. One, two, three. The misdirection wow. pulls everyone Whoa. in every direction, and oh, he puts it up for 90 so perfectly. And it's not often you see a shot from behind the midfield line beat a guy on the goal line. I mean, yes, Garrett G's facing the wrong way, and he's right in the middle of the net. But, I mean, still, that's <laughs> you got a good look at that ball coming at you, and he just hit it that hard. What a shot Walt from Reed. No! Whoa, whoa. j just blocked it. To block the tying goal, now Chicago's going to try and see if he can make it happen. Yeah, two defenders up for Justin will neutralize against JNAPS, but oh, that, that that one that one hurts a little bit. It was such a good play too, a good little one-two in the box, beautifully executed. Unfortunate, I mean JNAPS was just trying to get out, and that was the equalizer right there. It slips away. It's Justin down, Gary G. One of that way now, Drees. The thing with JNAPS in Chicago was bowling NRG defenders in net. One goal game though. Let's see JNAPS. Leave that as he rotates out. Justin taking it across the field against Chicago. Now Drees puts it in the midfield, but no one's really there to deal with that or to pick it up from his team. Final 30 seconds, NRG holding on to control and just trying to keep the ball out of their back half. Wow. Oh, well, there's the ball in their back half. I mean, How it's just surprised. It? <laughs> kind of NRG just kind of let G2 come at him right there, but it's played out nicely as NRG's in control with five left. The time will expire. Chicago's got to keep this in the air. He's got JNAPS in the midfield, but uh, oh, JNAPS the only player with any amount of boost, and they won't be able to get the pass to him. J NRG now on a three-game streak against G2. And looking strong. <laughs> what can you say? I mean... There's a very obvious factor that's been the difference who's at the bottom of the scoreboard for NRG. Again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Garrett. Uh, man, what a... I mean, because Garrett was a part of the passing play to Squishy as well, seeing him off the ceiling. Yeah. I mean, Garrett has just been a part of everything. 100% goal participation here so far. And, man, <laughs> for G2, uh, look, they had the pressure. You take a look at those shots and you say, okay, well, 11 shots, that's great. Uh, they have one goal to show for it. And realistically... I don't even think with NRG's eight saves, I don't even know if they were really pressured that much. It didn't really feel like they were under that heavy of a load. They couldn't get out so much. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it was. Yeah, I don't know what what the what the the problem was here for G two. And on the on the one shot they scored, it was brilliant. It was, it was wonderful wow. stuff. I mean, and it was it was a three man passing play. And the third the the secondary pass, I think, is actually the thing that. Or removes Garrett G's ability to save that back post shot. Just that little motion to the left pulls him to the left, and then the shot goes right, and he's just a little bit too far out. G2, so clean when they've got the time, but and here oh, they come again whoa. out of the corner. <laughs> JNAPS finds a banger. Hello. <laughs> oh my 95 gosh. miles an hour. JNAPS <laughs> kind of just squished this one off a of squishy. I mean, <laughs> Garrett G, uh, you, you blinked, and that one was in pretty much. Hey, they'll take it. That's a great way to start for G2. A great challenge from Jane Apps and maybe to get some wind behind them here. G2, they've been relatively shut down. Here's Jane Apps again. Couple devils is wide open. Oh, Jane yeah. Apps lets it roll. He's out of boost. He couldn't get around to it. Maybe he can oh. get back out of trees and a huge opportunity. They can't get through. Players are exploding on the energy side. But G2 just can't find the mark. Yeah. 
And that's actually what I was uh, thinking about the answer to your question, Wade, when you were saying you weren't really sure what the difference was for G2 uh, going into these past three games where they haven't picked up a win. I really do think it does come back all the way to that physicality that they were able to generate and disrupt that NRG defensive rotation the past couple mm. of games. I mean, NRG, like you said, because as Corelli pointed out, I mean, uh, not really under too heavy a load because they've had a, a great structure on defense and that yeah. disruption hasn't been there to open up extra space for G2 oh, to try and operate. Wow. Well, this is in again. Uh, well, second okay. goal for JNAPS there. <laughs> NRG went to the sky with the ballet air dribbles here and yeah. a clear. I don't know what Justin's that. doing there. I don't know what Justin, he didn't even have the boost to get up there. I don't know, it was just a poor read from Justin there. And, Wishful uh, thinking. Yeah, very, very optimistic view on that play <laughs> <laughs> for Justin. And G2 giving another goal here up 2-0 now. Justin off the wall, he's got Garrett G in the midfield, but Dries will block things, and now Squishy's going to try and get it over the top of JNAPS, but didn't get enough air on it, and it runs straight into the defender. The ball will neutralize in the midfield. The pass Squishy finds an opening, Chicago in the third man will close the gap. JNAPS out to Chicago, Squishy with an interception yep, against again. Squishy. Picked another one off. Oh, and it's in, too. <laughs> Squishy has had the midfield reads. You're not beating that all guy way. at the moment. Yeah, I it's mean, that's, all the way. he's just, he's got that G2 push upfield mapped out in his mind. He he just knows where the next touch is headed because he knows that G2 likes to get that ball out to the side, then right back into the middle. And he recognized early on in this series, that's where G2 was getting a lot of the quality looks. And now he's just understanding, all right, it's going to go here. And then they're going to try and pass it back. And I'm just going to be waiting for it. Yeah, he just kind of hides behind the next G2 player and waits for his chance to move in. He's done that a couple times now. He saw it in the last game, or in the uh, final game of Game 7. In the previous series, he, he's just very good at staying near the play and, and knowing when to move in. He knows that G2 wants to pass to the next man downfield, so why not hover around him? Squishy puts the ball into G2, and two defenders jump for it. One gets bumped away, and now sticky situation. Garrett's up for it, but can he read the pass? Well, it's going to drop into the box, and Drees will send it all the way down the field. Oh, Squishy won't get back on the respawn oh. in time, and they get a free one. Uh, he went um, for boost, didn't me. he? I think the, he spawned. I think he got demoed, didn't yeah, he? he yeah, demo. and he went straight oh, for no, the boost. Okay, okay, yeah. No, he didn't. He, he went yeah, straight okay. for the ball. Good shot, though. I mean, far post. Yeah. I, I think Squishy probably could have gotten anything from halfway it, to the near post. Yeah. And even Did further, he, probably yeah, three quarters he, across he the touched, net. I think he could have reached. <laughs> yeah, I think he touched the ball there. It was anything other than that shot from Dries. And Dries gets him with another one. Oh, wow. there he clears the 90% in ball. And they keep their hopes alive here in game two. What Desperate times. Oh, here's Chicago. More pressure on Justin gets demolished in net. If it's been if it's been Garrett G on offense for NRG, it's been Justin on defense. Mm -hmm. it's easily the most critical demo they can get in the NRG goal. To be fair, I don't think G2 really cares. They're getting all of them right now. <laughs> it's true. Especially in the beginning of this game, it were just NRG players exploding left and right. NRG has some time, uh, has some time to make things work here. Let's see if they can set something up. Garrett over to Justin. That's a good little passing play. Dries, oh. though, easily reads it. Still the pressure on. Here comes Squishy. Can't oh! put it away. Right side shot. Oh, wow. And NRG just behind by one now. Let's talk about placement here for a minute. Uh, this goes in only where Squishy puts this. Uh, Chicago had that net on lock. I mean, that's a, that's a great shot to cut across the ball from Squishy. Can't afford to get lazy there and just try and pound it towards the middle. Beautiful piece of shooting. Gotta love the read from Justin as well. Picking up Dries is clear and immediately turning it into a pass to Squishy. Making it a one goal game. A minute and a half left to go. Garrigy and Justin, clean, efficient play to push this back to midfield. Dries gonna try and close on this one. Garrigy's got, oh. got enough boost to get back to it as well and drops it into the box. Justin to try and take control now and Squishy maybe thinking about it. Here he comes up against Dries off the corner, but the rest of energy out of boost. They gotta fall back. It's getting a little chaotic here in this game. A little wonky at times for both teams. And here comes oh. Garrett now on the dribble. Can't get by Chicago. Energy though threatening. Good clear from Chicago. Will bail G2 out. Yeah, that defensive stand was Chicago from beginning to end. They're squishy. Garrett in the midfield. Chicago might pass to Garrett. Unvertently gets it to oh him. Oh my but goodness. Now to the corner. Drees will slow things down. 
And this bump goes across the field. Squishy going to take the lead roll. Just put pressure on Chicago so he can't make the best of touches. On the second one, Chicago's got time. Now looking for j -Naps. He's got Justin in net to deal with. He's got Drees behind on the pass, and Chicago's up for it. So much pressure, so many options for G2, and somehow NRG emerges with control and plays it to the G2 corner. 23 seconds left. NRG down by one and pressuring for the tie. Well, it's going to be tense here for G2 in these final 10 seconds. That's a good clear to at least get out, but NRG might have one more opportunity. Eight seconds left. Justin. To himself, he's got GRG in the midfield. Oh, Goes for the slow play oh. to Gary. Oh, the pass squishy. Hey. He put it in. No way. Oh, the pressure. NRG don't miss. So I got to wonder, why does Chicago not go and challenge Justin right there? He's facing Justin, and then he turns around to play shadow defense? Why? What? Indecision, <laughs> right? <laughs> you gave him the space, and then they beat you. <laughs> oh, man. And like I said, NRG, we're going to get one more chance coming out of their corner. And they convert in the overtime we go. G2 need to win this overtime or things are getting desperate. The two goal lead. No, no, Garrett G is going to try and take control. The ball was just a little bit pinball too fast behind him. And here's Chicago into an open net. Almost all their goals into open nets. Whoa. This will be good. Four to three. They'll take it 17 seconds into overtime. And he got all of that one wave. He got all of this one. Everyone from NRG on the left side of their own field. Squishy Whoa. trying to dive across. Just not enough. What a shot from Chicago. Uh, chump to champ right there uh, for yeah. Chicago. That was uh, forget all about getting to overtime. He just uh, you you weren't kidding when he said he got all of that one. My goodness, ninety six miles an hour. That was an absolute rocket. And again, a, a critical win here. And G interesting note: this is not thing, something I feel like I've said about NRG before. I think all of their goals coming on open nets against NRG. Uh, let's look. I actually am curious. I know uh, a couple of them were definitely okay. There's one. I don't know if that one counts as an open. That one <laughs> oh, that was the, the first one, is, one. You're right. The other one was the one with Squishy coming off the spawn that you couldn't get to, and then the yeah, final one. Yeah, so, It's uh, this one. Uh, they were very similar. Those last, the, la the last two goals were very, very similar for G2, actually. Um, but either way, uh, phenomenal shots uh, from G2 to put the placement away, uh, away from NRG. And a very, very tense series here for G2, a very tough one as well to stick it out. And they had to stick it out here because NRG, they were threatening multiple times here in this game. And I think G2 adapted halfway through. They, I don't think they had their act together halfway through this game. And then all of a sudden, they really put it down and made sure that NRG couldn't mount the comeback. Well, I mean, it, I mean, it was it was G2 leading at the beginning of game two there and, and NRG coming back there in the second part of it. But still, I, I, I agree that things like they, they turned around the energy <laughs> um, that was happening in this lobby. And I, 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 I feel much more. I think that, that was, again, super important game to win just for for the mental and for the momentum and also just to, just to keep your, your options open as you go deeper and deeper into the second series. So G2. Big wins there, and now going to try and build on that with more pressure in the goal. Here, G. <laughs> Justin, uh, he's put on his look at me car. <laughs> oh, has he? Very yeah. bright. <laughs> you're not. You're not kidding. That thing is uh, is very bright. He's a, 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 you know, the confidence booster saying, hey, look, I, I'm confident that I, I can broadcast everyone exactly which one I am at all times and it won't <laughs> matter. Back down. Trees in the midfield. Garrett G looking for Squishy on the outside. He gives it back down to Garrett G, but this one going behind his teammate. Not the best of passes and Chicago will try to capitalize. Garrett G gets one block, but Justin with a miss. It's all up yep. to Squishy here coming out of the midfield. What a stop. Launches to the air to make that one. Keeping his net clean here. NRG in not a good position here. They are getting boost starved, demoed, punched around, and that's actually the best touch Squishy could have made. Just dump it off to Justin and let him air dribble it out. Get yourself some room to breathe. Squishy through one. Drees on his goal. Give it to J-Naps. Garrett G's going to challenge the ball off of his hood. Jnaps able to pick it up on the other side. Garrett G and Justin bumping into each other on the wall. It's up to Squishy here. What a dunk. Oh, my goodness. Squishy solving all of his read problems. Haven't seen any of those since game three of the first series. 
now back down. Here comes Justin up against two defenders. Chicago will get it past him. I think a big key here for G2, especially coming out and winning this series, would be, you know, stopping Garrett, obviously. And I think they did that to a degree in the Ooh, previous game. Mm -hmm. That's a great drop down to Chicago, oh. but it's just too wide on the shot. Seems like G, uh, G2 getting a little bit more space to work with here. Some more space here for JNAPS, but that one not nearly as threatening as G2 attack fizzles out. G2 at the end of the first series, we were talking about how NRG was just dominating the challenge department. Yeah. G2 was really struggling. Things have very much turned around here, especially here in this game three. G2 has been controlling the midfield. Combination of a couple of things. Oh, that's a nice attempt from Justin, denied by Jane Epps. But combination of a couple of things is uh, NRG, like you said, that physicality definitely coming back for G2 a little bit, throwing a wrench in the gear. And at the cleanest in terms of rotation and communication, some double commits, uh, a little bit divey over on oh. defense for NRG as well. As Squishy tries to punch one into the right hand side, take the first goal in game three. Yeah, still scoreless here. We crossed halftime. Justin wants to reach for this, but knows that Chicago's there. Oh, and Chicago missed. Here's JNAPS now out of the corner. Squishy underneath. Two players challenging on offense for G2. And Gary G setting it up for Justin. Gets it through one. Grounds himself on the wall. He's up against Chicago now and knows he can't beat him to the ball. So takes the back corner boost and rotates through Chicago. Looking for more bumps and demos here. JNAPS getting the neutral Ooh. challenge. And Justin and Ooh, Garrett oh G not able to get this one out of their box. Back down and in. Garrett G will finally pick up a touch after G2 got their hands on it. And now oh they look my. for the counterattack. Look at squishy and it's in. What a play. Look at the read from Garrett using this flip to get back to the ball as well, especially when it comes off that wall. Look at the read to get that so fast. That's so tough to do to perfectly Gosh. lay it out to Squishy as well. Well done there for NRG. A shot too. I mean, off the wheels from Squishy and still had, you know, 53 miles an hour out towards the left-hand side. It's it not the easiest goal in the world to convert there. 116 on the clock. And what has been the most neutral game of the series. Chicago looking for Drees to try and tie the game. JNAP's coming up from the backfield, but Garrett G gets the ball first. JNAP's will send it neutral and chase it down himself towards the goal. Justin manages to dodge the bump and get the save to keep their lead. One minute remaining, Energy holding on. G2 have really yet to throw a knockout punch here. They've been very conservative in their attack, just mainly body shots against the NRG defense, but maybe this could be something here for Chicago. That's a fine touch to the back wall to Ooh. go. It'll just be Drees to slow it down. 40 seconds left now for G2. Justin to the midfield. Chicago out to Drees now. So this guy has got JNAPS advancing, but Garrett G will pick up control and squish you with a demolition nice. on Chicago. Should open up some space. Justin takes his time. Out pass. Garrett G going to try. Squishy out of goal, picking up the shot. Pushing it back to midfield. 15 seconds left. Justin. Flip reset, just baiting Drees to challenge him. Final 10. It's Garrett G off the ceiling, just blocking this past the front line. Drees will loft it for Chicago. Justin doesn't reach it. Chicago back down to Drees here with an opportunity. They keep it up. Is J Nubs there? Up airborne. Squishy will beat him to the ball, and Chicago oh. can't keep it up. NRG take game number three, one to nothing. I think. Actually, massively well-deserved MVP there for Squishy. Four saves and a lot of broken passes yeah. uh, going out there and cutting out G2 towards the end of that game. Like, I, I think he might be, <laughs> apart from Garrett G, absolutely lighting it up on offense. You know, I think Squishy's really just uh, presence on the field has been invaluable for NRG during this series. That that guy's got that. That G2 team on lock, really. And, and as far as like the score goes, that's why you're seeing Garrett at the bottom. It's because a lot of that defensive work has been done by Squishy and Justin making those epic saves on the goal line. So uh, for NRG, I, I, you're absolutely right. It's well-deserved uh, MVP there for Squishy. Four saves is nothing to scoff at, especially against the G2 offense. Well, going into game four, NRG now with the one game lead, G2. Had a solid control in the first series, ultimately lost it in game seven. And now here, NRG changing the story and taking early control. It's Justin. Picks up one out to Garrett G and Drees onto the wall. It'll be JNAPS. 
to Chicago on the infield pass. Squishy beaten here. The ball will bounce off oh, the ball. And Justin just drives past. How did they uh -huh. all just miss this? <laughs> I mean, I get Squishy not really having a good look, but how's Justin misread a oh, bounce? <laughs> what? <laughs> I suppose he assumed that Squishy was going to get. I don't know. If I watched it from Justin's angle there. Just, yeah, I don't know. He just missed it. And for G2, uh, they've gotten a few of these where NRG, they falter early. Uh, or initially, I should say, off the kickoff. They get one back. That was just wide from Justin. NRG fishing for their first goal. Oh. Double demolition. Justin will take control in the midfield. Push it across. Here's Squishy now. Off the respawn. Justin. Through one. Gary G now. Advance to try and catch the pass, but it just ends up out of position. And JNAPS in Chicago will try to counterattack, but Gary G retreating back to defense, breaks it all up, sets it up for Squishy, who runs into Drees on the backboard. JNAPS the this miss. Is a very oh, and game. Oh, and and <laughs> Drees also, yeah, struggling to get back to control that ball. This is just a weird game. <laughs> I think everyone's so, so focused on trying to have the proper approach and either it's it's just not quite executed and everyone's kind of like, whoa, this is what, <laughs> it's, someone hit the ball, please. And it's just a little weird and squishy you're gonna bounce one off the wall. Well, I, I feel like both teams may be trying to be aggressive. Oh, whoa. a shot please. Okay, there we go. Justin on the infield pass. <laughs> the passive defensive stance there, are able to be punished. Oh my, look at that pass from Garrett. And look at the space given to NRG. Both JNAPs mm. and Chicago essentially on the goal line there. JNAPs just a couple car lengths off. And NRG, when they have two players set up like that, they will take advantage. I mean, any pro team will take advantage like that, knowing that pass is across. It's so tough to read as a defender. G2 tried to get their own pass. Doesn't happen here as we sit tied up. You force the defenders to react. And when the shot's gonna be that fast to anywhere in the net, it's such a difficult read. Energy will tie things up. Here comes Dries, though, trying to extend it. Justin oh, won't miss this wow. time. Follow up, though. Off the wood, working in. JNAPS' shot is good. Okay, hang on. I need to see that one again. All right. Yeah. Great save. Nasty kick, but. Oh, oh okay. So close. Oh. I thought he got a piece of that and that went off the bar, but guess Kara G just missed it. A tough situation there for NRG. Again, all three players were there. Oh. The same as Chicago. Whoa. What is going on with the NRG defense? I mean, I, I think you also just give Chicago a chance to score one into that left side. He's not going to miss it. That's the third oh. one that he's just drilled there. <laughs> really solid uh, kickoff play there from G2. Seeing the cheat up from NRG. They choose to intentionally lose the ball into their own half and then that takes, they com just completely eliminate Squishy from the play. So we'll have to deal with this. Justin now looking for another similar setup. See if they can expand on this two goal lead. Tie the series once again. It's been very awkward uh, for NRG on their defensive side. Now, I'm not sure if that's G2's doing or just some miscommunication from NRG, but it's been very tough for them to get that initial touch and clear away from G2. It's what allowing G2 to have a lot of these opportunities. That's a fine clear from Garrett to at least get out of the half, but it's straight to Drees, but he loses oh, a little dear. bit of the handle. It's getting oh, my goodness. squirrely here on the G2 <laughs> side, but they get it away. <laughs> that was the most awkward thing. That's oh, what we're talking about. Oh. Drees just kind of mishandles a ball, and everyone from G2 kind of has this, oh, gosh, my stomach is in my throat moment. <laughs> the, the classic merry-go-round defense works every time. Here comes a shot from Drees. Oh. This one over the top of Justin and in. Hit a banger, 4-1, G2. <laughs> he just stepped up to the plate and swung as hard as he could. Justin, he's caught in a very bad spot there. Didn't go back to net, went straight to the ball instead. Put himself in no man's land, and Drees, I don't even know if, I think Justin expected Drees to bring that one down. Dribble, not just yeah. drill it on target. And what a shot from him, 4-1 now from G2. Maybe five if Drees can get around to it. Justin does come through to turn him away. It's, be, it's become obvious to me. The recipe for success to G2 is literally just smash the ball over 70 miles an hour at the net, and it's going to be a goal. Like, <laughs> I don't what, what, think what, they've what, missed yet when they've got it that fast. What, what, what have we said 
Always, if you just just always just shoot straight at the net from wherever you are, as hard as you possibly can. <laughs> Don't know what else to do. Hit the ball really hard towards the goal, and good things will happen. <laughs> yep. a bulletproof strategy. There's Drees up against Justin. Challenge goes his way, but Squishy to Justin oh, off the corner and back out. Gary G putting more pressure on as well, and Justin not going to be able to get this one. Jay Naps breaks up the pass and sends it to the energy back line. Squishy has to retreat all the way just to gain control. And with a minute left in game four, things looking very good for G2. We'll be going into game five all tied up. And, you know, for NRG, I've noticed this a couple times, but it's very apparent uh, in the last few games for NRG that they... Justin as a third man, he's been very, very jumpy. Everyone from G2 here to put this one away. Uh, but he's been very, very jumpy. He's let G2 out many times from just going into to challenges that he has no business, no, not even a chance to get to it. And G2 has certainly taken advantage of that. It's a free clear almost every single time, and they've scored off of it in a couple of these games as well. Well, they've scored quite a bit here in game number four five to one it's, it, both teams have had their their blowouts in this series the squishy's going to get one for the road 37 seconds left bringing things back within reach but still statistically unlikely oh rough rough from trees there i feel like he traps it against the wall yeah a bit awkward to be sure but the nrg i don't know i think you're probably right corelli is Justin definitely a little divey. He's normally been, I mean, let's not get it twisted. I, I think Justin is a phenomenal defender. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely, it could, again, just be a product of a couple of things. You know, we all know Justin sometimes gets a little bored in the series and says, I'm going to air dribble everything. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to go hit the ball. Or G2 is really just causing a lot of disruption and he's just not confident in knowing if he has support from the teammates. Or... I mean, G2's just putting bangers on target and someone's got to go jump at it. <laughs> I think too, uh, especially in this particular series in the set, it feels like expectations of the opposition are not manifesting a reality. Like people are thinking that the other side is going to get this great touch that they have in the previous series. That's not mm. coming this time around. I think that's why you've seen a lot of these weird wonky games where players are losing control of the ball or uh, things are getting very strange on the goal, on the goal line for both sides because uh, people don't have as good as a handle on it this time around and it's just throwing people off. Well, we'll see a timeout here from NRG and it looks like it will be a, uh, a, a bio timeout. <laughs> that, that is a bio break for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, this is actually a great time to take it. You definitely need to talk it over, figure some things out. Nope, never mind. We're all just going to be right back. <laughs> Squishy just here with his own thoughts. Meanwhile, G2, uh, they're having a, a clear discussion. And again, uh, look, I, I don't think either of these teams have a lot of like super negative things to say. I, I think a Not lot of all. them. Uh, have a lot of good things to say. It really is the small stuff that's coming back to bite both sides. It's been the every now and again, you just give a little too much ground for G2 and every now and again on NRG, it's a little divey on defense and G2 capitalizing on mistakes while NRG just converting a lot of half chances has kind of been most of what these two series have been about, but you know, we, we enter into a very similar scenario that we were in from Series 1 here. And we're back at 2-2. We Everyone just had definitely the weirdest game <laughs> out of these two, uh, two series that we've had. And I actually think the... The 60-second timeout, or however long it is, I'm pretty sure it's 60 seconds, you come out here afterwards and everyone is... I would not be surprised to see a very slow minute, maybe even two minutes of everyone mm. kind of just sitting back down and saying, OK, let's all reestablish a firm baseline to go forward here. Because I, I, yeah, I, I don't expect any phenomenal openings here. Yeah, I, I do think that Corelli right, that there's a, there was a lot of anticipation from the other team. Um, and then when that anticipation didn't wasn't realized, it was like, well, what are we supposed to do? We were both kind of in this react mode. A lot of yeah. like, let's move up. This is what's going to happen. Oh, the ball's over my head. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll fall <laughs> back. And and then, and then, yeah, we saw even in the replay there, like 
goal, many goals with strange defensive situations, but here, Garrett G gonna pick one up off the backboard uncontested. And tough it's point. just, uh, it is a tough touch there from Jay Nass, but it's a, a solid play off the back wall. Tough to read for Dries with the pace behind that ball from Squishy. Of course, Garrett G, he'll be there to put it away for NRG and a 1-0 lead for the general here. Jnaps out to Chicago. Look to reground themselves, play their game. So that's what Jazo was saying during the timeout. This one bouncing awkwardly for everyone. And then whiffs, whiffs but get whiffs in Rocket League. Yes. <laughs> one team misses and many other are going to whiff as well. There's Jnaps looking for Drees on the outside. Again. Again. Mm -hmm. Little jumpy on defense. Justin with a solid pass to Squishy, except that Squishy had no boost. So I just had to just kind of follow behind that, create positional pressure. And oh. G2 able to handle that in their own half well. I'm trying to pass back across. Squishy will just send one to the goal. Drees makes the save. And Garrett G demolished. That might actually work out in G2 in energy's favor here given how far into the G2 corner he was and how fast the ball was moving towards his own half. And NRG Fire taking a little page out of G2's book there, just firing off a shot with your third man every once in a while from distance, just to test the keeper. G2, they've gotten a few in these couple sets so far, just testing the NRG goal line. And right now it's been a scuffle in the midfield to get possession. The ball just keeps popping out and rolling. Jnaps into a good challenge for Squishy. Chicago, G2 will get up, but only as far as Garrett. Back to the outside, Drees. Infield to Jnaps. Lofts it, but gets bumped it off the ball, and then Drees was hoping for a pass or some bump that he could use, but that initial touch on the Jnaps break oh, everything no. up, and Chicago oh, with a flip. No. Garrett G will put it in. 2-0 NRG. Don't have to say much here. It was... Uh... The old feels backflip from Chicago right there. He was headed for that one all the way. And instead of getting the double jump touch to the corner where he could follow it up the wall, gives an open net to Garrett G. It's been a long time since I feel like I've seen a bona fide, just flat out. Nope. There's no way that wasn't a, a teammate calling him off. Oh, was just, okay, I was going to score. Oh Let's talk gosh. about this instead. <laughs> <laughs> well, is Chicago, that's twice now in the series. Give away one and take one right back. That's Ooh. a nice shot. <laughs> Got to get under it, lifted it towards the top of the goal. That's money. <laughs> that's a finesse behind that one. And what a way to bounce back. Like you said, I mean, you give up one, but you get one back. Unfortunately, you trade a little bit of time, but sit down by one. And maybe it could be tied up here. J-Naps is denied by Squishy. Gave it his best effort. Ultimately, Squishy standing in the way again. Ooh. Chicago will look for a pass, but ends up sending him to the backboard for contact. Andres to the outside for Chicago in his own corner. Garrett G challenging off the wall and gives it to Justin with a lot of space, but the touch goes wide. Squishy now looking to put pressure on the other side. See if they can keep this ball trapped in the orange. The old man at midfield just onto the backboard, and Dries gets it away. Now back it down. 158 left to go here in game five. Winner of this game will be on match point for the series. G2 needing this series to force a third series. And yeah, they're working for it. All right now, energy or yeah, energy have certainly had some more offensive control, but energy have looked good in the times they've been able to move downfield. Or G2 rather. Chicago gets bumped out of the way. This could be an opportunity, though, for G2. Dries waiting. This one's going to go a bit high. He's going to have to drop it down. No help. This one's cleared away by NRG. Wow. That's actually phenomenal control there from Chicago. I mean, you get the ball punched right at you in the corner like that, and to catch that off the tail and take it with you up the wall, that's a... Uh, that's command on your own half to not allow energy oh, back oh. onto the offensive side. Jams to Chicago in the final minute. Trying for the redirect plays again. Squishy now on this back wall, slowing things down. Drees comes in and Justin's there to meet Jnaps' shot. Chicago runs into Gary G and NRG play tight, close to the chest defense. Yeah. And they play it well. 
There's just not been a clean shot for G2. NRG have had a player in front of them every single time. This one let go for Chicago, but still Garrett just shutting it down. 30 seconds left now. G2 looking for a clean opportunity. Oh! Here it comes. No! Dries, it wasn't clean, but it goes in. And they tie the game. JNAPS here off the wall, getting the pass squishy, and then Justin having to hit the afterburners just to try and close <laughs> the distance. He'll get a wheel onto it, but it's too little, too late. Tie game, 27 seconds left. Garrett G over one. It's JNAPS now out of his corner. Squishy falling off the ceiling. What a challenge, and the ball will bounce completely neutrally. Touch from Chicago to Dries in the corner. Back down to Chicago, looking for the play. They bait out one defender, but JNAPS not close enough to send in the go-ahead goal. Final seven seconds. JNAPS just buying time. At this point, praying for overtime. Here's Dries. One last attempt, possibly. No, Justin's there. And does he have the boost to reach it again? No, Dries over the top. Dries also out of boost. He'll need the flip reset. Not going to find it. Justin oh. extends it down the field, off the back wall, and they'll put it into the ground. Overtime <laughs> in game five. Too happy to knock that one down. My goodness, Justin hovering in the midfield with no boost, just flicking it on. Now, Garrett, can he put it away? Oh. It's shot on target, but Chicago is able to get a small touch on it to get it out. But Ooh. here comes Justin again. And Dries on the clear. NRG. Just trying to flex those individual muscles that were paying off so well in their first series again. That really was where they were getting the job done. A lot less of that allowed here in the second set. Garrett G pushes it against Chicago. Chicago now trying to take control. Here's Dries up against two. Garrett G gets all of it. And JNAPS pretty oh, loose. This one into an empty goal. Squishy, can he get there in what? time? No, it oh. takes an awkward bounce. Jumps oh. upward, though. No challengers. And the oh. shot still goes wide. Energy, golden opportunity is completely missed. And that one was off the back of uh, JNAPS, just completely misreading the bounce. He double jumped, and the ball just bounced right by him. G2 bailed out by that crossbar. Yep. Here comes NRG again, threatening. Over a minute here in overtime. Oh, that's a good pass. No one expected it. A little bit too good. Very squishy. Fast one. Drees in this corner. Doesn't meet the ball. Now off the wall, JNAPS will get there just in time to break up the shot from Garrett G. Justin with more pressure on and Garrett G breathing down Chicago's neck in the box. Justin will look to play for more defenders here and see if he can grab some boost on the way out. A squishy stalling things in the midfield. Slow and place down and giving the ball back to Garrett G. Energy, they missed that one opportunity, but they're creating more here in the second minute. Justin up for this. Drees lofting it in Chicago to chase. Squishy airborne to bump Chicago off the ball, and Garrett G now takes to the sky. He's past Jane Absent into the corner, looking for bumps himself, but Drees manages to dodge the bump and touch the ball and keep it in the corner. I am beyond knowing what to expect here. How wow. minutes into what? what? <laughs> wow! Um, wow! Gary G just recoils too. He's like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe it!" What oh a my. kick left! And oh, it, oh, he was right on it. It skimmed it off the right wheels and it. had the blue trail. Oh wow. man! And they steal another one in overtime. Overtimes, and G two gone hand in hand here as they go into game six on match point one away from forcing the third series. I think Achieves uh, summarized that game pretty well. I, you know, I don't know what to expect anymore. And uh, that <laughs> goal in particular was certainly unexpected. Uh, G2 felt a lot of pressure from NRG. And I was actually about to make the comment that it felt like it was only a matter of time until NRG finally broke G2. Uh, a lot of opportunity wasted for G2 because of the boost game. They just couldn't get enough boost coming out from their own end that everything that they threw downfield was just so, so weak. And NRG, with that boost control, took advantage and had so much pressure. And again, the seven demolitions from G2, you guys talked about how that seemed to be achieved, especially you brought up how the demos were, were a huge part of them creating the pace and creating the chaos that was breaking up the NRG plays there. Six demos from Chicago here in this game Jeez. five. Critical win. <laughs> Six. I just realized it was that many. <laughs> yeah. But it's been it's been working out well for G2 definitely in the in the second series bringing back a little bit of that physicality throwing off that energy structure and it's 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 paying off well so far you got another five minutes to get through but that 
That was an awkward, uh, I shouldn't say awkward. That was uh, just kind of a string, strung along game, it felt like, where everyone's just kind of following through the motions until, you know, Drees just decided to make a couple of beautiful opportunities oh, as this oh, is so awkward. What are you going to oh. do? Look at Chicago just jam this ball on the goal line. Look at Squishy. Oh, Squishy's like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, that's <laughs> so tragic. And we've seen plenty of times the ball on the goal line, and it's always been Drees to crash to that. And he's so good at winning those challenges. And, and to be fair, he should with the way uh, the defenders are positioned. They have no momentum behind him. He's coming full speed into him. Uh, but he's done a great job of closing out those kind of awkward plays that don't initially get converted for G2. Squishy bumped off the ball. Oh my Justin gosh, again. Net. And Justin with another car change here going to the Fennec. Just fighting the anti tilt. Picking what he thinks will work for now. Garagino. Gonna lose control to Chicago. And Squishy flying across the field to take control. Play down to Garrett. Justin now in the corner here, taking his time getting the ball and actually getting bumped out of the play. Squishy will advance forward. Feather the boost to try and hold on to as much as he can here so he has the option to continue to advance after he lands, but no, gets demolished on landing. And now here comes oh, G2. Bye. More pressure. Oh, the man. pass to Drees and the laser beam to the upper 90. Give that guy the ball. I mean, when you've passed the ball to Drees, he hasn't missed yet in the past couple of games. He's oh. lighting up the defense. And he's ready to shoot, man. He's so ready to shoot. There's yeah. been multiple times when that ball comes laterally across the energy side. If he's on the far side, it's coming at him. He's taking a swing, and he's done it many times here through these two sets, and he's looked good. Oh! Put those on away. Jay Knapp's almost able to put that one away, but Justin gets behind it. I mean, the problem was it wasn't Drees taking the shot. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't have the shooter. Oh, there's Chicago putting more pressure on. Squishy gets in the way of this one. Now behind one player, here's Jay Knapp's. To put it high, Garrett G. The demolition. Chicago's going to try and take control. Just sends it to the sky, breaking up passes, but Squishy's got it Whoa. red, pushing it off for this one and through two. Can Justin, Justin find the one touch goal? He had to be the ah, first yeah. touch, and it was just wide. Gary G will try to keep the pressure on, but NRG going to lose that opportunity. Justin was never actually going to be able to score that one. It just took that, uh, that kick just a little too far out to the side for him to have the time to get all the way around <laughs> the ball and beat the defense back. As again, those bumps just keep pushing NRG off the ball and making it as difficult as possible for them to hang on to possession. As Garrett G all alone here, but where do you put it? Oh, oh, he put it to Squishy. Now Garrett going to try and chase it down himself, but G2 well positioned to pass that one back around and into the energy half. Through one, Chicago. Now oh, through two, it. down to oh, Drees. It's just no. butter. Garrett G gets back in time oh. to block it, but the passing was so strong. Oh, it was beautiful. It was so crispy clean there, and <laughs> unfortunate that shot just was not hard enough to beat the last man. He certainly had the opportunity to. That one would have been a, a wonderful example of G2 offense. For one player. Here's Drees. Playing it the long way. And Drees and Jnaps kind of on top of each other. Squishy drop it to Garrett G. Goes for the dribble plays into the corner. Two minutes left here in game six. Still the two goal lead for G2. NRG yet to find the back of the net here on Neo Tokyo. You can't squeeze by him if you're NRG now. I mean, that, that individual effort is, is nowhere near getting the job done. You need to adapt to your oh, offensive oh. approach here as that's a pass to Justin and there's no way you're going to score that one. And NRG, it's tough to say what you got to oh. change to get a goal. Man, and this was just, oh, so nearly they put in the third goal there. G2 with everything. Here comes Drees on another one. Drees three for three in this game. My goodness. He's running away with it. A trick for the young man here. And a well-earned one. He has been so well positioned. If exactly where he needs to be when that play starts to break down and players move away from the ball on the energy side. He's done a great job of closing down that space and putting quality shots on target. G2 looking to go the distance here. We said it might be three best of sevens. We might get it. At this point, NRG's got to score three goals in a minute and 10 seconds to change that. 
and then win another game. This has been the Dree's show. It's NRG. It's like there's a force field around the G2 goal just pushing the ball away. Every time they're close, it's like, ah, they're, they're pushing the ball into the box, but there's not actually a shot here. It's just covered well enough, or they're just moving too fast towards the backboard that they won't be able to get it around the posts. And despite their best efforts, nothing to show for it here in Game 6. Well, to me, that... Uh... That bodes well, I think, if you're NRG, because I, I actually think it's a pretty simple fix, because it's not like NRG's had too much trouble, you know, getting out and at least getting one or two touches towards that corner and maybe setting something up. It all just has to be a, a change in the philosophy of instead of going right at it and around that corner, you can slow that pace of play down right before you go through going to be able to pop that ball off back into the middle and create that space again that G2 has had so much trouble defending. But as it stands, I mean, Chicago and Drees played a, a Drees played a beautiful offensive game here. Chicago, a beautiful defensive game. And G2 well defended and well deserved series win here in the second set. And they're going to go for series three. Oh, this is this is the best timeline, though. I'm so I, it could have gone to game seven. So we will, you know, and most we have 20 games in this, but that, I'm, I'm, I'll take 20 games. G2 versus NRG. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. And what a way to rally back to three games straight, including an overtime to clear out this series. G2 uh, looked extremely strong. Uh, and I, I don't think I'm trying to put my finger on exactly what the deal is with NRG because they have a lot of pressure. It, that that's not the issue and in fact they're not really getting that g2 pressure that i think previous teams felt here in the championships it, it's more of NRG not converting a lot of the opportunities and and some poor decision making i think as well that's giving the space to g2 to then counterattack and put on the put on the aggression that we're seeing so for NRG I, this is going to be a welcome break because they started off so good but things have really slowed down here at the end of this uh, end of the series they, they, they certainly did. You'll, you'll see they were using their, their, their tactical timeouts to just get up and stretch for a moment and, and, and go use the bathroom. They'll, they'll use this here as well. That same sort of reset. And we'll see. Very, could have a completely different series in series number three, which is coming up here in just a moment. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back on the RLCSX. Can Gibbs be the sabotage that NRG needs to win this series? We're about to find out here. I don't know. I, I Honestly, I don't think G2 needs any help. After the way they looked in the last series, the momentum they have coming into series number three, they are poised for a print appearance in the grand finals. And there we go. Now you can hear me. I think that Whoa. <laughs> I think G2 just needs to keep getting Dree shooting opportunities and NRG when it comes down to the offensive side of things. I think all they have to do is just slightly change pace of play on their approach. And I think they're going to find a little more opportunities if they can throw the G2 off the scent a little bit on defense. Well, as Dree's just cranking another one to the goal, as has been his bread and butter this series through Chicago with more pressure. G2 forcing NRG to stay honest on the goal line. And Gary G gonna give him a taste of their oh, own medicine, just cranks wow. it down, says, hey, there you left you the back open. Appreciate it. And it's Garrett G starting off. And I, I he went, I, he wasn't quiet. He played well the last series, but he certainly wasn't the way we saw in the, in the very first series of this set. He has come alive here with the long range shot, catching out G2, like I said, giving a taste of their own medicine. That's what G2's been doing a lot to NRG, finding those gaps downfield, especially past the third man. And NRG starting off on the right foot. NRG a long way down the field. Justin demolished. will spawn in the back line and leave space for Squishy to move up and take control. He and Garrett G going to tag team this ball into the backboard. And Garrett G will land while JNAPs and Drees get the ball back to midfield. Squishy now. Out of the box, off the wall, uncontested. Chicago will get it off his own backboard, but Garrett G is there to punish, oh. and it goes straight to oh, Chicago. Wow. Follow-up from Justin. What? Oh, wow. Between Drees <laughs> oh, and my. Chicago, you're <laughs> kidding. Finally, he's going to find the back. <laughs> oh, they had, to, they had to work so hard for that one. Oh, wow. What a sequence for both teams there. I mean, a couple of big blocks from G2. Uh, some solid shots from NRG, but definitely not placed perfectly. And hold on tight, but G2 couldn't just keep the grip slipped off right at the end too many people able to cycle through and nrg break him down 
And it was a good idea from JNAPS there to try and get it away and use his yeah. uh, teammate to get out. But Garrett just jumped all over it and shut that down immediately. It led to the goal. Good work there from NRG. Now up 2 0. Trees off the wall. Justin to follow it. Showing off his third octane combo of the day. Man of many outfits as Chicago wow. will punish not the best of clears and make it a one goal game. Oh, <laughs> definitely not. As this one just came down from the roof and nobody oh, there. What a uh, touch. <laughs> so you're right, Wave. It wasn't the best not, clear because there not, wasn't one. It's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> uh, uh, Beautiful. j that, that touch is disgusting. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm throwing up in my mouth just a little bit thinking about it. <laughs> it was gross. I need a shower, man. <laughs> he said it was disgusting. <laughs> well, it's Justin off the wall. Drees into the corner. It's J Naps. Follow this to the outside, and Squishy will try to challenge. G2 doing a good job in the midfield. Taking control of challenges. There's more pressure from Drees. Chicago now in the midfield as Justin takes him slow to the outside. JNAPS and Chicago both moving back into goal, and Chicago will get there, but JNAPS jumps as well. And now here's Squishy to try and put pressure yeah. on the overcommitted G2 defense. See, right, right there when you see Squishy coming in out of the midfield is where I really think you need to see a different type of touch from NRG because that, that strong touch towards the backboard just hadn't paid too many dividends against the G2 defense when NRG's been pushing. I think you need to take that one, hit it off the ceiling like G2's been doing. You've seen JNAPS do it a couple times, drop it right back down into the middle. Give that shooter the space to size up the defense. There's Squishy. Of the midfield and Gary Jesus is going to try and win the drag race. Gets oh to gosh. the corner. Doesn't make contact. Squishy to the backboard. Trying to set up Justin here. Justin will pick up the touch from Chicago, but can't gain control after the initial catch. And Chicago now looking for the dribbles on Gary G. Pinch off to the corner. Don't think he got the flick he wanted there, but still opportunity here for G2. If Dries can get back to it, he does. Almost gets a piece of Squishy. He doesn't get the best clear, but he does get by the first man in G2. And maybe even the last man Whoa. here. Squishy has options. You can't get by Chicago in the end. Oh, off the crossbar. JNAPS putting pressure on him. Now JNAPS again towards the goal. Drees reaching for it. What a Ooh, drop. Garrett G with the stop on him. Oh, and he gets the second block on Chicago. Garrett G, a wall on defense. Huge block from Garrett G. Justin was scared there, rotating back towards the goal line. He did not have faith that Garrett G was going to pull out the massive double save. Way to keep the lead intact, but still needing to hold off G2 here. The outside, one minute left. And G2 still pressuring in the back third. Squishy versus Chicago. Lofted high. No challengers. There's finally Justin. Up against J Naps. He'll play it to the corner. Chicago rotating in from the uh, from an awkward direction. It's up to Drees now in goal. And he just cranks it. 41 seconds left. G2 trailing by one. They've got to stay on offense here. And there's some pressure into two. The defenders still get the ball, and Gary G emerges with control. Ooh, Popped boy. dangerously, but Justin's already up for it. Uses all of his boost to push it across the midfield line. The ball barely skimming over his foot. Oh. Squishy denies on the goal line. <laughs> the infield pass, not here enough. Again. Here's round two. Blocked again by oh Justin. Gary G now to push it away. And what a hold from NRG. Chicago trying to take control in the final 15 seconds, but they cannot break this back line. It might not be over. G2 might have one more opportunity. Chicago oh, is coming out to him, and Squishy oh. doesn't get a good clear, but he gets help from Justin, and now Dree's got boost to work with. Can he get over one? He can't get by Garrett. It'll be up to Chicago to see if G2 can get another chance. Now Dree's will play it towards the net, oh. but NRG all over. That's a great kill from Garrett. And the Ooh. general NRG <laughs> take the first game. How do they look so composed after that one? They, like they just put the controller down, picked up a glass of water, and I was like, oh my goodness, do you guys realize what defense you guys just played for like a minute and 30 seconds? That was terrifying. <laughs> you, you you know you're a professional win. We're like, yep, nope, that's our job. What are you talking about? That's Oh my gosh. We kept the goals out. Two saves apiece. Good job, everybody. Glad to see uh, everyone's carrying a bit of the weight here. As Squishy will take the MVP from that game. and my, But monster, the monster saves. I want to go back and just break down that defensive stand. Such just just brilliant plays one after another. It was it was dicey, though. I mean, it, right here. It, it wasn't pretty. Oh. 
for <laughs> most of it, but NRG just barely uh, holding on in a lot of those situations. And it came off of a lot of balls being popped up into the air. And something that I was going to point out um, into that final minute was NRG seems quite comfortable actually with having G2 play above their box. A lot of the touches that G2 are having are not directly on target. So NRG aren't as threatened by it. Certainly they have to have someone there to challenge, but a lot of it isn't directly onto the frame. So uh, G2, I feel like they have to be a little bit more direct with some of these shots because NRG are happy to see G2 play across and over their net a lot of times. Well, you can afford to do that, I think, because uh, you have a defender like Justin, who, as I alluded to, I think he's one of the greatest goal line defenders in the game at the moment. It's because he's so good at reading a bounce right before it's going to happen. So he tends to get a pretty early jump on a lot of those mm. balls going across when they bounce off the wall like that. And that's why I think they're so comfortable with that because they know they've got such a great contingency plan. Of course, all of them are strong defenders in their own right. But when it comes down to you need to get someone up and early to go and block a challenge, uh, a shot and, and just get a challenge on it or take it away out to safety, you pretty much always rely on Justin to be that guy first in most cases. Oh. Here's Chicago with pressure. Justin up for it, but uh, blocked the double tap as the shot was wide and will bounce back out. Here comes Trees for round two. Over the top of one, looking for the double tap. Misses the touch, but the follow-up is good. Wow. Jane oh, wow. push it through for goal number one. It was kind of weak, wasn't it? Uh, how did NRG not get back to this? kind of tongue-tied, right? I mean, Justin initially oh. goes to block the double tap from Drees, right? So he jumps, but he doesn't realize that Garrett G gets the bump on Drees, so Justin needs to recover. And by the time his wheels touch the ground, the ball's already by him, and it's just the... the It's like opening the the Russian nesting doll of like, oh, wait, what, what else is coming next? Is there one more or not? There's another one. There's another one. <laughs> so it's kind of what it feels like. So NRG... Again, kind Ooh. of picking oh. up right where they left off oh. in that last game. Their defense very, very uh, suspect at the moment. And that's credit to G2. But definitely uh, might lose a few years if you're NRG fans. <laughs> you might. <laughs> Terrible to deny. Plenty on the goal line there in game one. But still, not the place you want to be having to play the, the, the last minute defense here. Justin and Garrett G have been both going for the same ball in this game. Yeah, repeatedly oh, here, and there's an opening again. Just oh, a free jump oh, there, and it's completely dead. Is oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a pass, Corelli. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh, Even Chicago. Chicago's giggling. Oh, He's no, like, I oh, hit the oh, post, guys. I did it again. <laughs> oh, that's a calculated pass. Uh, Justin was B. He backflips, and that was such a great touch off the back wall in all seriousness. Uh, to Chicago. Unfortunately, he didn't put away on the first touch, but bailed out by the post, I suppose, in the end. He's there to clean it all up. Oh, what a shot. Wow. <laughs> what a shot is right. Perfect timing there from Squishy as he sees that clear from Jane Absent. Oh, jumped up early. Read that bounce so quick before it even came out. And that's quite a strike from Squishy Muffins. My goodness. That's a lot harder to do than it looked. And he made that look really easy. Getting the right pace, the right timing on that ball. Very easy to put that one directly lateral from him and at a 90 degree right. angle. <laughs> Quality. 313 on the clock. Squishy getting the scoring started here for NRG. Now back on defense. Garrett G through one. Squishy demolished in net. JNAP trying to pass to Chicago, but Justin will be there first. Now Garrett G trying to law for this. Has to back off as he it's communicated to him that Chicago is already there. Squishy winning another one. Dree's demolished. Justin holds onto this ball. Nice flick past one. JNAP's, though, able to beat Garrett G to the ball. And constantly trading touches here. G2 struggling oh, in the midfield now with a, with a nice touch there from NRG again. And a bump on Garrett G should open the back door, but Squishy able to rush back in. Now Justin looking for the flip reset to try. Get another crazy solo goal here up against Chicago and Jane Adams. I think it's kind of an interesting problem in RG running into right now when they get that ball past the midfield line. They realize that they need to change pace of play, but they also Ooh. don't really get themselves the best chance at it. Just oh, kidding. No. Wait, he put it off the wall? Oh, no. <laughs> and, and, and achieves to kind of piggyback on the point that you're about to lead into it. it feels like that's another chance that NRG have let go. And we've talked about that a couple times, and it hasn't come back to bite him too oh. much. But maybe a double demo might open things up. Nah. 
they gave him so much oh space. My, another double demo. Wow. Dree's all alone. Does the demolitions create enough? Just like, everybody on G2 having to reset with comms instead of just being able to read rotation since there aren't any. I think that might give them more opportunities here, but no. G2 emerged with some control, pushed across the midfield line. Oh my. Line oh, one, Chicago. I, I tell you, man, you watch Dries play offense. So you dangerous. I mean, he's been hit or miss on some defensive sequences, but I think you get that guy in an offensive setup, I don't think you'd find a better guy f uh, to fit into this G2 roster. That guy is oh lethal as he's going to drill the top right corner. <laughs> and he's a shooter too. Like, he knows how to close out the play. And these shots that we're seeing from him are just spot on. That is so hard to get to if you're the last man. And Squishy knew all the way that Drees was going to smack that one on target. Squishy knew what was coming. He just couldn't get there in time. The speed Drees is hitting at as well. It's consistently 70 plus here. As it's off the wall. Jnaps bumped oh, nice. Chicago. Oh. Having to rotate out here as Gary G tries to take control, but Drees will take it away from him. With 55 seconds left. NRG down by two. Got to get to work right now. It's more pressure. Oh, goes no. Let's make it down by three. Chicago punishes. Oh, boy. You can't really blame Gary G. He's, he's heading across the net there because he's hoping that Justin isn't going to get bumped by G2 and he's going to be able to get that clear, right? But <laughs> realizes a little too late that's not going to be the case. Little gap for Chicago in game two, done and dusted. Going to go back to uh, another tied series. We, we have never seen that before between these guys, ever. Oh, never, never. <laughs> Whoever wins game one just sweeps every time. No, it's been such a close series. And yeah, very in the same story every series as well. Like, okay, cool. This team's looking really good in game number one here. I don't know what the other team's going to do. And then the other team's like, we're going to win game two. What are you talking about? <laughs> and that's kind of the beauty of when the best of the best go up against each other, right? Because you're the best, obviously, because you play the game really well, but you also adapt to the game really well. And both teams have done a good job of changing things up game to game, series to series. Uh, and you've seen, I mean, we've had... Uh, you know, one to three games that have looked different from a separate one to three games, right? Between the series. It's just, wow. it's been so different uh, for these teams and they've done a good job of reading each other. This time, G2 certainly have the better read on NRG. Uh, Look at this shot. Oh. Just did not even, given the, the courtesy of making the save, right? Like it's just, nope, still just gonna roll right into the net with three seconds left, too bad. <laughs> a stretch across five to one. G2, the, the, the score was, I, I've been keeping track of overall goals in the series. Before this game, 29 to 30, one goal differential in favor of G2. This one going to blow it open a little bit wider here. Now 35 to 30. G2 with quite the momentum. Not, I, it's not a full momentum swing given that they lost the last game, but still. The, the other thing that I feel like G2's got in their back pocket is even if this game goes to overtime, of the five overtimes we've had in this series, they've won four of them. Yeah. G2 playing clutch in golden goal scenarios. And you look at that stat line right there as well, even apart from, you know, golden goal scenario and all of that. I mean, you, you saw the massive demo slider, right? Like that was like yeah. eight demos to like two for NRG. Not able to capitalize on any of them. I, I, I feel like, you know, when you, as soon as you saw like Justin hit that ball off the backboard when he had not necessarily an open net, but pretty much most of the net to choose from you just pop it off the wall and it's like that's kind of where you took it took it away from NRG it's like all right you you definitely needed to convert that one if you wanted to feel like you were going to come in and, and keep this one tight and pretty much from that point on G2 never gave the game back yeah no I mean Curly, it, it felt to me that NRG in the second half of that game was struggling just to even get across the midfield line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was exactly what I was about to say was it just felt like energy struggled a lot. And, you know, they have set the table. They have served the food multiple times, but nobody is eating on NRG at the moment. <laughs> nobody right there. Has picked up the fork and ate anything. It has been a beautiful place, Matt, but just nobody oh. is able to put it away. And, uh, you know, multiple opportunities left on the table. It just feels like, you know, NRG is always that team that as soon as one person makes a massive play that sets them off, they, they all instantly refocus, right? So if you get one big play from one player, I would not be surprised to see RNRG go on a tear and just whew, take a game in stunning fashion.
Chicago with the dribble in the midfield, flicks over one, and then wins a secondary challenge to put it back into the box. Neither of his teammates advance, but they'll hold on to control still, nonetheless, in the midfield. The first 30 seconds have been all G2. Oh. Sniping the passing lane. NRG gave themselves a moment on offense. Double demolition. And the demos reign in oh, Supreme oh. again. Drees oh. with the pressure on, gets a double commit out of him, but it's all low to the ground. So Gary G will hold on to control. It's like Chicago. There you go. And that that does a great adjustment there from Chicago. Earlier on in this match, you saw Chicago give up that space to Squishy a couple times, and the NRG was converting it right there in the midfield. Wheeled right back around, instantly went for it, took oh! away the chance. Trees has got the ball back, and yeah, of course he scored it. How, how oh, could he not? Man. He just doesn't miss, and he just he fires away. Justin and Net backwards on the near post, and oh. he actually turned out towards the far post, and Trees still hit it near post above his head. That's actually, it's actually a disgusting shot, to be quite honest. I mean, he's got to come outside the ball, air rolled the opposite way, spike it with the wheel, and Justin's just got to... That's his only chance to try and backflip that one out because he's not positioned to hit it out cleanly. So, I mean, Dries just with a beautiful placed shot in just the right spot. Man, Dries' accuracy. As I, I, like, if, if, if I had to take one thing out of this series, and, and th this is a series where we've seen Garrett G scoring some of the most insane goals I've ever seen. I feel like if, if you're like, I can take one thing with me into my own Rocket League play, like Dries' accuracy is that thing right now. It's clinical. so consistent. It's it, clinical is exactly the word. And it's and reliable. It's fast. And NRG genuinely, every time he's got a ball, he, he has that opportunity has to has to really think the situation through to make sure they get the save. And here comes the follow up on the other side. Here, G picking up a shot out of the corner to tie the game. And this one kind of comes off of Dries never challenging here. That's fine, but there was no one here to follow up on the play off the back wall. And I think that's what Dries was counting on by not just going into a poor tackle uh, backwards. So he let that ball come off the back wall, but nobody from G2 was in position to challenge the next play. Good strike from Garrett to find the hole in the, in the uh, G2 defense there, and we're tied up. It felt like you needed it, too, for NRG. It's not going to go unnoticed that Dries is absolutely picking them apart on defense, and they, they got to feel like they're still in a game because they know that a lot of their chances have come into premium in terms of time required and effort required to even get a quality setup so far. A, a strong departure from the first series. Jane apps to Dries, but Gary G will intercept this time. Genevs now with control again. And Dries turns looking for a second chance. They'll bump Justin into the corner. And here comes Chicago shooting oh. at the far post. It's wide. That leaves space for Gary G to move up. Looking for the dunk on Dries to the side wall. Squishy above the goal. Chicago follows it. No follow up there from NRG. Justin now onto the side wall as Squishy at midfield. Tries to get it past Dries and does so. Now up against oh. Chicago, just going for the slow play. Back pass to Garrett G, who has to quickly turn for this. And J-Naps will challenge him, just trying to put pressure on this energy back line. Uh-oh. Oh, it's in. Free goal. Don't steal it. Don't one. steal it. Yeah. <laughs> it's because she was thinking about it. <laughs> and, and this one was a tough read for Dries. It came clean off the back wall, but it was deceiving on who was positioned from the NRG side to get that. And Dries just a little too far back to go after that one. Garrett knew it and a good touch past Dries onto the G2 target gives NRG the lead. That's a great point though. I, I think it is actually real easy there for, for Dries to lose track of who can actually go and get that, right? Cause you see that pop off the wall and, and you're looking up and you're not thinking about the corner that Garrett G's parked in and him just hopping up and going to get it. So a little bit of tunnel vision G2 looking to find a way back in just over a minute. Justin versus JNAPS. JNAPS will win the challenge to Dries now in the corner. What a oh, shot ooh, placement. Ooh. And JNAPS there for the security on the save. Tie game. What a dish from yeah. Dries. Oh my goodness. Just scoop it oh. off the wall. Squishy, that's that's actually a, a great touch from Squishy, to be honest. I mean, JNAPS is just right on top of it. That's a great follow-up from JNAPS. That's just nothing he could do. 
And for Dries, that was a fantastic pass. Right away, but this oh. one's going to off the post. And Justin's going to get it off the kickoff. That one getting a little bit of help from the woodwork. Oh, my. What a great yeah, replay. That, uh... What a great replay. Smoke Doug playing Link. a little havoc on you, Wade. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't even see what happened. Yeah, I think that smoke threw off J-Naps as well. It's tough when it's right in front of your face like that. Tough to see exactly what's going to happen, even if you can see everyone. All the moving oh. parts. More pressure here. G2 trying to get a kickoff goal of their own. Pressure continues. Now squishy. To a solitary backfielder. Oh my god. This days. one dropping dangerous. Gary G will get it straight to Dries, who puts it into the corner for once. Now Jane absolutely with a clear. 30 seconds remaining, though. NRG in a. Hard fought and a bump. Oh, awkwardly scored. A completely open net, but Chicago's got to turn on this one to get in control. And Squishy will have time to get back into position. There's a pass out. Dree's up for it to the backboard. He's going to have to get some more help, though, because Squishy clears it to the outside. Now JNAPS in front, into the corner. Justin across the net. Five seconds left. Dree's not able to make contact. Chicago. In his own corner, the ball's moving the wrong way for G2. Oh, keep it alive here. Dries down the two. field. Chicago's just got to right. get it to Dries. There's one player in the way. They're Chase causing chaos. It'll just take oh. a shot. Oh. 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 the one working out. No way. NRG survive. Oh. Oh. Go, Go for, for it. it. What's more shocking there, the save or the double commit from NRG? Yeah. I don't know why they were sending two in the final seconds like that. You know G2's waiting for that one to drop down. And that was almost perfectly executed. And oh man, what a sicky from Garrett <laughs> to keep NRG in this one. Uh, Corelli, what did what did you say? I, I don't think it matters what team that you're cheering for. This one's definitely taking a few years off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it certainly is. I mean, especially with plays like that. It's just so close. Everyone having to just ice up there right at the end. What a save. Yeah. That's yeah. the the fascinating part about Rocket League, right? It's like, oh, okay, NRG forced G2 to bring it out of their own half at zero seconds. It's fine. And then you just see this weird double commit and and you kind of just switch into a different mindset. You're like, oh, now they've done it. Yeah. And you just you just have to sit there and watch like, oh, dear gosh, what's about to happen? Yeah. <laughs> can they can they pull it? Can they pull it off that way? And I mean, and then the decision there from NRG to, or from G2 to hold onto the ball on top of the hood, be like, yep, let's just wait for the linemen. Let's not let's not pump it down the field. I know I can dribble this down and take the shot there. But uh, both Chicago and JNAP's giving props to Garrett G on the save there at the end. Sportsmanship from these teams. Is, this has been quite the duel. And of course, Jeeves, I mean, it's, it's not like we've ever seen this before where the games just alternate <laughs> the first three games. Never. Not once. Consistent. <laughs> I think, I think it's gone. I think it's gone the other way uh, each time, though, right? So I think in the first series, NRG won game one, G2 won game two and three, and then NRG won. Uh, mm. And then in the second series, it was flip flop. But right. either way, it's alternating. Yes. We we uh, we found something to talk about in terms of who won a game, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Man, back and forth, so evenly matched, and here comes NRG. Oh, 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 Squishy will be there to finish it off. Look at Squishy stick around after this pass for the security. Jeez, uh, this one it's it's not a that's about as good as you could hope for from G two to be honest. Yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's Chicago. That's a, a good effort to give it, but. The post is not his friend in shooting or defending, it would seem. We really needed just half a second more to get back to that. Chicago was positioned to to get back to it on the ground. Had he had the time, but good work there from NRG to crash the net. Here comes G2. Chicago actually gets bumped. Loses the ball. Dries, can he put something together here? Yeah, Chicago on the far side. Chicago can't get around to it. He actually backflips instead. And NRG get out. off the wall the outside Chicago is there to meet it and sends it back into the box guarantee with a long one on the field no I think nobody's home uh -oh. they're all falling back and Justin's gonna try and hit the Ooh. shot man I've seen that angle from Justin yep. before. <laughs> <laughs> trying to drop back down there's Garrett G alone in his backfield I think it's time to get set up now j will try to pressure the lack of clears from NRG Dree's happy to dribble. He's got Chicago to pass to. Try to get it around Sh around Squishy, but honestly, Garrett G with a fake on one and then a wow. roll past the other. Gets demolished, but not before he puts it into the G2 corner. It's good work for Garrett. 
Throwing a couple fakes, and I think G2 know how well Garrett's been performing. Certainly giving him the benefit of the doubt on a lot of these touches. Still only good to the G2 corner. Here comes JNF. Drees up as well, but cut out by Justin. Chicago gets a bumper onto the ball, but then gets bumped off it, and Garrett G will try to take control into the corner. JNF to Drees to the G NRG corner now, and JNF with a miss. Ball will neutralize. Ooh, Chicago had JNAPs on the far side there if he had gotten there. Good defense from NRG, especially with the amount of time that G2 has spent uh, in the NRG side there in that attack. Felt like G2 were slowly getting a handle on things and we're going to set up a passing play, which they were there from Chicago to JNAPs. NRG certainly learning from their past mistakes, but right now feeling more of that pressure. Drees trying to force the issue here. Comes JNAPs. At least play it off the back wall himself. Still energy pace. holding on. And the pace is so quick on defense for NRG. I mean, G2 making a lot of strong touches on the ball, and it's making it very difficult for NRG to bring the ball down, change pace of play, and really hang on to it. And that's the value of always getting those nice, strong touches towards the defensive half. It makes it that much harder uh -oh. for them uh -oh. to change it up. Oh. And a little handoff wow. in midair, tipped away. RG going to hang on to the slim lead. There's Garrett G in the corner. Two players underneath him, Chicago and Net. Going to Chicago to connect with the ball. On to JNAPS. Garrett G with a response. Drees and JNAPS both lightly commit to that. And Justin now to try and put pressure on this net. Touch could have been a little bit stronger. It would have been goal number two, but doing what he best. Doing what he can. Now Squishy with a banger of a clear. Drees has to push it to his own corner. NRG looking for match point here in the third series. This is the final one. You've been with us since game number one of series one. It's a best of three series. Each series a best of seven. Long road to get to this point. Ugh. I really kind of back and forth here in the last couple minutes. It really hasn't, not like it's been super big, but here comes Squishy, that Ooh. one off the back wall. Here comes again, Square oh, with the light be shot. In. Justin, no. he'll put it away. <laughs> Double up the lead, NRG on top. Oh, Garrett uh, I mean, uh, this is actually, don't get it twisted. Garrett needs to score that, but thankfully he's got Justin right there to finish the job for him. So that's a, actually a, a huge goal, NRG. Two goal lead now. I mean, you can give anybody a chance at any game with zero seconds on the clock and one to find, but two is a lot to ask with how well NRG has been defending here. We'll see if they can hold on. Anything can happen. One goal can change everything. Squishy, chase this down. Now Garrett G to turn, give the ball back to Squishy. And it'll be Justin actually who moves in from the backfield and Squishy rotates out. 30 seconds left. Chicago to the wall. Both of his team members in the midfield, and Squishy will clear it through. And Bolt doesn't looks for the security and puts it off the wall. 20 seconds left. This one going the whole distance. Drees looking for bumps. Jamps as well. And Garrett G flicked it over <laughs> Chicago. And honestly, that one might do it. Here's Chicago. Garrett G with a second flick. Drees past one, but Squishy continues to push into the G2 half. And the time will slowly tick down and secure this one. NRG <laughs> on match point in game four. The earliest we've seen match wow. point. This is the big change in the series. Can I, they finish it off in the next three games? I suspect the timeout here by G2, yeah. certainly uh, going into a match point, but maybe not. Uh, okay, timeout G2. There we go. Okay. So uh, there will be a timeout, and uh, I don't blame him for that. Obviously, this is probably the most obvious spot you would take a timeout. Um, if you were to do it. And for G2, probably a good idea. Uh, things are getting a little bit out of hand now. NRG certainly taking advantage of some G G2 mistakes. And I just think that G2, the game plan that they've been playing with for the last few games, even going into the last series, is just not working at the moment. I think NRG have thrown some chaos into this game that has made it so that G2 can't execute as cleanly as they have been exactly. maybe in previous yeah. games. It, it's the keep them at arm's length. I, I yeah. actually think that G2 held a lot of pressure in that game. It didn't really yeah. manifest in terms of shots, but they were absolutely trying to pour it on there in the corners with the, the fast pace of play and, and forcing NRG to make strong, consistent 
and solid touches on defense that didn't put them in any compromising positions where they didn't get too divey and pull somebody out of position. They had to play a, a tight game defensively to keep G2 at bay there in that one. That was, uh, that was definitely a, a lot to ask and NRG handled it well and to, to break out on a couple of opportunities and find a goal back the other way was icing on the cake. I, I think you, you bring up a good point that the corner play from NRG um, was it was super clean here in game four. And we saw G2 consistently trying to play out of the ball out of the corner there, finding a way to get the ball out of out of the sides of the field, out of the side lanes um, in the midfield area, rather than having to use the back third to do that, uh, could really change things back up for G2 here in game five. Well, the center of the pitch is where uh, you find a lot of options, right? Right. Uh, that's that's uh, really where you can generate a lot of great chances because you can left, right, top, bottom, off the wall. It doesn't make a difference. And you're absolutely right. Getting getting the ball into the middle of the pitch, always a quality opportunity uh, chance when when uh, your shooter can pick the direction they want that shot to go. It's a lot tougher for a defense to read. And you're absolutely right. If G2 find a way, get that ball out into the middle. NRG is going to have to have one more thing to think about on defense if you have a repeat of the previous game. But that being said, NRG got three games to work with here. They do have a good amount of buffer space, but honestly, at this point, I don't care. I've seen plenty of teams completely burn that in the last <laughs> three days. So yeah, we'll, uh -oh. we'll see oh, what happens no. here as they we nearly find the first goal. Oh, the last back across. Chicago will keep it in the corner, and all three players from G2 bunched up on top of each other, but the pinball will pinch in their favor. And Gary G will have to take his time controlling this at midfield. Oh, he almost landed on it. If he landed on it, that <laughs> one was going in. at least on target. I don't know how G2 would have reacted to that, but Garrett, very dangerous there coming off the ceiling. With a uh, heavy hearted sigh and a face palm, and then you just pick <laughs> the controller back up. <laughs> Well, and I'm sure it, it doesn't. It's not the best feeling to to be on match point, to be on series point, to be on set point. Oh, and oh, okay, there you go. I was it's about the to best say, feeling it, in the world. It's <laughs> the best feeling in the world to go up 1-0. Wow. Chicago here out of the corner. He's got Squishy dead to right. Squishy just can't find the best of players. And he's the only player on his own back line. Janet has an open net to shoot at. 1-0, G2. No, I'm curious what G2 talked about in their timeout, right? Do you think Jazo went in there and was just like, you know what, we actually played a good game there, we just didn't convert our chances, or if he's like, no, we need to do something completely different? I, 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 I'm, you know, you have no idea. We could shoot in the dark all day. I have a suspicion, though, that that talk was probably a lot more serious and a lot more um, pointed towards particular problems than maybe, you know, uh, timeouts in the past. Because every time that we've, they've taken a timeout before, or either team has taken a timeout before, we're like, you know what, both teams are still playing really well. But I think with that slide dropping all these games to NRG, there's got to be a little bit more of a pointed talk towards what exactly is happening. So it's probably a lot more serious in that meeting than uh, timeouts pass. Playing in our, uh, G2 at the beginning of the series, did a good job with uh, our brief analysis of get the ball out of the corners more and bring it up the center of the field. The last minute or so has kind of returned back to that corner dump strategy. Here, this pinch going dangerous. j will chase it down into the corner. Yeah, out to midfield looking for Chicago. Now, Dree Squishy trying to read this clear. He's got one touch on it. Couldn't find the second. Justin's touch. Oh, this is dangerous. Here comes Dree's with a banger. Justin oh. off the backboard. What a oh, save. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Massive recovery save there from Justin. I mean, Dries was in going to be in the one on one with a guy flat footed. And we've seen how that situation has gone many times already in this series. Big takeaway there from Justin to keep the deficit to one. But G2 still picking up right where they left off from the previous game. I mean, they're pushing NRG back consistently. NRG don't even have a shot right now. That'd be the first one. As Garrett does put a oh. decent one on target. Here it comes again. Oh. That one just too short off the post or off the back wall. And the first couple of tents from NRG are dangerous, but fruitless. Here on the wall, Drees now. Come chase no. this down in the long okay. shot from Squishy. We've seen him go for it time and time again, and G2's like, we finally learned our lesson. We left the player back. Go away. 
the back wall. Garagita chase it down, drones oh it into the box, days. but Dries <laughs> rotating into the third man. And NRG starting to adopt the just put the ball on target strategy. And G2's feeling the heat. It's a good one, but got to hold on to that pressure. That's the hard part. And look at Dries cut one down in the midfield and put that pressure right back on NRG. Is That's a beautiful touch from Jay Naps. And again, there's Justin reads those bounces off the wall so quickly. That early jump, keeping G2 again at arm's length. Squishy over one. Chicago now with a response. Final minute of game five. And RG yet to score in the first of their three attempts. Dries. Putting it high and Justin to chase this down. Long clear. Just squishy to try and move after it. Wins one dunk. Garrett G off the wall. Is Justin here? He moves into the corner and the soft touch will be easy for Dries in Chicago to deal with. But Justin falls back in, gives it past what? two of them. Garrett G to chase Jeez. it down. He's got Jane Absalone in the net. He's got Squishy to work with. Squishy to try and close on this one. Oh back pass goodness. two. Oh Dries will get there. Justin what? puts it off. Oh, no, he missed. Bumps Jane Apps and Squishy and Garrett G. Can they rotate back around the pressure building? Oh, oh no, Jane Apps getting it past Chicago. And now Garrett there G to Justin. And it was only oh, a bad rush. Oh, oh, High game oh, oh. with 19 seconds left to go. Oh, man, and uh, what a fiesta here on the G2 <laughs> side. And it's good work from NRG. They were moving the ball around, taking advantage of every misstep that G2 had. And a lot of it is because of Garrett working away his way across the net and in the air to keep that ball awkward and keep that ball dangerous. Garrett G and company managed to keep the ball in front of them the whole time. Didn't matter what G2 did. Well, they seven seconds left. We're tied up at one apiece. We've played five overtimes in this series, and NRG has won 80% of them. They might be able to dodge one here if they can put it in in zero seconds, but no, looks like it will fall. Sixth overtime of the series. Can NRG win it all right now? Deep breath, everybody. <laughs> this could be a long one. <laughs> well, maybe oh, not. This one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Think back to just the recent major. They had a 10 minute and 20 second overtime between these two teams. Whew. Dries off the wall, Squishy and Justin. And their half as Dries tries to dribble at Squishy, we'll get it away. The G2 have dominated this 30 seconds. This pinch goes back to the midfield and there's Dries again, looking for Chicago. And Garrett G up on the front line defense finally finds a way into the orange. Immediately countered by JNAPS back to Chicago, and it's up to Justin in the goal. Gets it away enough, so here comes Dries. Squishy will get it past him. JNAPS catches in the midfield. G2 just suffocating anything that NRG is trying to do, consistently pushing it back, and Justin will finally slow mm -hmm. things down, try to bait somebody in, and can't win the challenge. It's a great choice, though, from Justin. Yeah. There's no need to try and force the instant transition. You haven't had the time to really get your feet set. Nobody really has a lot of boost. Uh, to feel confident pushing up, so just take oh. that little stutter oh. step. Oh. Squishy! Oh, oh. no! Oh, oh, oh. Unlucky! Make it five for it six. Again. G2 can't lose in overtime. That's the second time Gosh. they demo Squishy and then rip a shot on target and on the spawn, Squishy gets a touch on it, but just not good enough. He just can't get there in time and you can't blame him. But good work from G2 to again capitalize on these opportunities when they're up a man. They can just rip one on target. G2 survive again and again. And at, at this point, I'm starting to think NRG has to win in regulation. It's, <laughs> again, they win the overtime. We go to game six. That was game one of the three match points NRG gets and G2 survive. Well played from G2 again. I, I like that it was pretty much the same game, right? The, the only thing that fell apart was, you know, that 40 to 20 second stretch where NRG just <laughs> seemed to find every good touch on offense to set up the equalizer. But that was pretty much a copy paste game from G2 from the previous one, I thought, where they really just pressed and pressed and pressed. And NRG again played a solid game, but this time around, they just didn't quite have the same uh, effect on transition and, and enabled to convert some of those chances. So NRG's got it kind of back against the wall, I think. You might have two looks at this one, but that's two games where you've really just been stuck against the wall with not much room to work with. And they yeah. still have a timeout too. So if things, you know, uh, get out of hand, especially in this game, if G2 runs over them, I think NRG get a good opportunity to reset themselves. But 
I doubt that will happen. We haven't seen too much of that here in any of the series that we've seen today uh, from this set. So we'll see how energy comes out. Their chance to take down this very stingy G2 team. And for G2, then they're just trying to hang on and get to this match point. Justin Airborne, squishy to put pressure on. JNAPS here looking for the double tap, misses the ball. Here, G now to the goal. Squishy putting more pressure on Wait, back across what? the net again, but no, <laughs> no shot. Surprised G2 wasn't able to find a touch on that one as I don't know. <laughs> Did you Nobody see Darren to find a, clean contact? <laughs> him into a top on top of the ball. <laughs> that was wild. He's, he's playing too much snow day, you know, trying to get the, the ground <laughs> on yeah. top of the ball. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work as well here. Justin across to Squishy. Over top of Chicago and then behind JNAPS. Trying to leave space for Drees. Bit of miscommunication here from G2, and Justin will take advantage of the given space. One of 50 50 against Drees. Here goes neutral to the side. And Squishy to slow things down. Like Gary G gets set up on defense, but one touch will get it past him, and now Justin to midfield. He's lucky Drees didn't get better contact, and he's still got control in the corner. There's Squishy. Pitch to Squishy to bail out NRG here. and. G2, again, kind of doing more of the same. That's a double commit, though. This could be dangerous. Oh. Justin getting a second mm -hmm. touch as well. Drees having to buy some time. And he does well to at least let Chicago get back. G2 do invert tragedy, but only for the moment. Justin with a flip reset, looking, looking for another one. And he gets a second touch. And easy save for Drees. JNAPS keeps this ball nice and high and it'll connect with Chicago oh, near Chicago. the ceiling. Chicago looking for the double tap and it's past Justin. What a play. End zone to end zone. What a play is right. Justin was thinking, okay, I can get up and try and take away, but he realized as soon as he jumped that, nope, I, I have to just play this one from the floor and see where Chicago hits it. Well, the answer is away from you, good sir. <laughs> get out of the way. I would like you to not touch the ball, Justin. Thank you very much. Chicago, more pressure. As G2 win the overtime and then take the first goal of game six. Here comes Drees. Garrett G past one. Squishy taking advantage of given space. JNAPS and Chicago both backwards as he gets past JNAPS, but Chicago flips past the ball. Drees closes on it. Critical stop. Here at halftime of game six. NRG losing some of these boosts in the midfield, kind of hampering their ability to continue to press on G2. Thankfully, they're finding long clears to try and reset the game, but that battle for possession has gone spotty at best. Last one. Drees across the midfield line. And stopped for the boost. Garrett G will pick up control. And a miss from JNAPS as well, like Chicago on the back line. They'll win the challenge enough to give the ball oh, to oh Jane Apps, then back to Chicago, but Squishy will tackle him out right in front of the goal and then go for the counterattack here to Justin. Blocked by one. Guaranteed thinks about it, but two players in front. He knows he just can't collapse on that ball. 148 left to go. NRG with a decent opportunity that falls apart in the box. That was almost a very scary counterattack there from G2. Chicago was on the back wall looking for the pass. NRG happy to see their last man. Up in front of that, here's JNAPS. A little bit of time, a little bit of space. That one flicked up and over. Drees back oh. on the far side. G2 still in the lead, but they would love to have a cushion. Yeah. NRG blasts it downfield. Lucky that was cleared away. <laughs> then we're going to reach that. <laughs> Justin down. Oh, pass two. Drees looking for Chicago. 109 on the clock, and G2 with everything they need to force game seven. Can they hold on? Oh, Justin now with air dribble over one to the backboard up against Jane Upton oh, Prince and the will gosh. push it in to tie the game. You knew as soon as you saw Justin with that extra space there at that midfield that the air dribble was going to be a good option and Dree's solid challenge. But the command from Justin to take it that extra couple inches higher to go right over him and Garrett G, he confidence all the way. He's like, just let J Justin drop it down to me. It's coming one way or the other. Oh, I know. that's oh. in. Oh, Chicago gets back and makes the save. Dead center of the net. Justin put the ultimate pressure on G2 and they hold 47 seconds left. And now looking for pressure on the other end. Dree sends a shot though squishy. Clears it away. 40 seconds left. They have to the wall with Justin to meet him. Out and trying to get it past Chicago, but no, it's across the NRG goal. 
Drees and the third man will take to the skies. 30 seconds remaining. Blocking Justin. Ergy lofted into the midfield. Chicago to the other side where Drees is waiting. 20 seconds left as JNAP sends to the backboard. Justin's oh. there. Neither player make contact. It's over the top of the double commit or the, 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 the stacked up players. D2, they push it into the box. Oh. Justin with the block. 10 seconds left across the goal. Drees to the outside. Garrett G trying to take control as Jamps is pressuring for one last opportunity here. It's through oh, the back line, but we go to overtime. Can okay. NRG finally take it away in a golden goal? They're going to need to. G2 not going down without a fight. You talked about it, Lave. They've only dropped one overtime here in all of the games that we've played here today. And they're looking to take another one, threatening off the back wall. Garrett doesn't have a perfect handle on it. Chicago oh, running circles gosh. around him to just get the <laughs> ball back. Oh, Justin past Drees. It's up to JNAPS. He gets a monster clear. Squishy with a response. Justin's airborne. He beats Drees to the ball. Tries to connect back to Squishy, but it's over Squishy's head, and he'll just close for a 50 50. And now onto the backboard. Ooh. Drees. Back down. Energy one goal away from the grand finals. I think the most important thing for Energy here on defense, because I'm expecting them to get pushed back on defense again. It's going to be height on those clears. If they get any of them coming off that wall and they're driving down, then they're going to put themselves in bad spots. There's Justin. The third man stop. This ball staying high. Here comes Drees, but Gary G will cover it up and does loft the ball well. Now Squishy are keeping the ball high on their attempted clears, but they're starting high as well, which kind of changes that equation. Now the back pass, Chicago to the corner. JNAPS to the backboard. And it'll be squishy to push it away. Drees having to rotate out. The Chicago in the midfield runs into Garrett G. Garrett G to chase this one. Oh, what a pass. Now here comes a shot from Justin onto the backboard. Drees to cover up Garrett G. 135 into overtime. And squishy trying to end the series right here, right now across two defenders. <laughs> Chicago gets all of it. G2 holding on, but these clears are not clearing over that last man. This one's oh! pitching towards that. It goes in for Garrett off the pitch, and NRG finally take down G2. Oh, advance my. to the grand finals over the North American champs. Wow. I, you got to say it like it is. That is devastating for G2. I mean, you you honestly played a phenomenal match here. I, it. You couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, the, the last time these guys played, the only reason G2 ended up losing was Drees kind of cracked in that final game. This time he was solid through in and all the way throughout. And unfortunately, he just came to the, <laughs> the wild pinch from the sidewall. Wow. This, Man. this series has got to be uh, one of the best series that North America has maybe almost ever had. I mean, this was a phenomenal display uh of of talent here between these two teams no matter the storylines uh both these teams look so good and uh oh, it, what an entertaining way to finish off the day what what an entertaining way indeed we, we said that there was it had the potential to go all 21 games we went to 19. it's pretty it's pretty good there and nrg though does finally uh take away an overtime or it takes away an overtime there at the end there to beat G2. The final goal tally 40 to 38. G2's favor. Such a close series. If you miss any of the games, definitely go back and watch them again. But we've got NRG in the grand finals.